do that. Okay, what? <sighs> that is, oh, is it time to eat? Disgusting. It's lunch time. Where's Man, the uh, salad? You can put it separate the salad. Not yet. You separate it for me. Put, put the amount you want, disgusting. and then put the rest of it in my bowl. Because I'm going to chop the meat up and put it into the salad. Wow, that's perfect for a that, that sounds terrible. Well, that's your opinion. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, sometimes these. I'm not eating the salad until I get done with eating this. That's not a word. It doesn't. No, that's not the way I like to eat. Well, I'm just warning you. I'm just telling you what I want. You know what? I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going to eat that other sausage and all of the salad. <clears throat> What's nice about you, you're not anything like the old man. <laughs> you're kind, considerate, thoughtful, patient. Yeah. You like to work things out. <laughs> you like to get opinions from other people and utilize them. You don't get overexcited. You don't get exasperated. You don't. You just. That's what that movie last night. The father was just like Brian yelling at Mark. Yeah. Sometimes a little tricky. I didn't like it. Okay, now. Do you have PTSD? That is absolutely disgusting. It stinks, and I have to be in the same room with okay, that type of food. Of hey, we're live too, by the way. So. Good. When? Of course, they're eating. We tried to eat before we went live. Okay, here's my Messerschmitt ME282 or 262. It's my Messerschmitt. Can you let us know they're for sale? Okay, these are for sale. You get them in a double pack. Got your engines. I got to do some a little detail of my engines, but I got my Let's engines go right here. Okay. I have a dentist appointment Monday morning next week. And then you got your machine guns. This opens up in here. And right now I'm working on a fly catcher. It's a we biplane. I wish you would shut up. And uh, these are a uh, new item at ProTinkerToys.com. Oh, and the swastika. They don't, they can't put the swastika. <laughs> this is what's funny. So they can't, for some reason, and it's all political correctness crap. Um, they can't put the swastika on the decal sheet. <laughs> so what they've done is they take, they've, they've made two, they've made two decals that look like this. There's two decals that are like that, okay? And so when you take both decals off, then you can make the swastika. But the swastika is not on the decal sheet as a swastika. It's two inverted L's or whatever you call them, that's okay? Ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. But that's the way it looked. And so you have to put the swastika on it. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with political correctness. It's the, the way the made airplane was made. Can you believe it? Yeah. Two, right, right here. The, the crazy thing is most of the German, most of the German aircraft mm. had a swastika on the tail. And then it had these, these funky crosses yep. all over. And so, yeah, there's usually one on there. That's funny that they did it that way. No, no, they did this. Here, Brian, this is what I'm talking about, is there's two decals that are like this, okay? <laughs> because the swastika is not in there, but there's two decals okay. that are like this. And so when you put them in here, now you have your swastika. So they're not offending anybody when they're when they're putting these in there. That's what they're doing. I mean, there's that, no other that, reason why to do that, that. That doesn't make sense other than... Okay, yeah, all That's right. That's the way it is. That's... It's, it's... A historical model. Exactly. Yeah, historical. That's the key point. But they, there's no such thing as historical anymore. Oh, that's going to be my first negative or thumbs down. I'm getting one thumbs down every day from somebody is giving us a thumbs down. And I think it's because I get too political. So I've, I've got to not be political today. Okay. I got my two California crews Saturday and the other from... Great. I know we're great. I know we are. 
So you have to do a do-it-yourself swastikas. Yes. Yep, yep. And all German Mauser with swastika stamps. Well, most of the... Okay, so most of the decals on a lot of the World War II historical models uh, included swastikas in the decal sheet up until, I think it was um, 2010. And I'm not sure what happened because they're, I mean, they're just historical models. No, they're just, they're trying to erase our history. That's all they're trying to do. Well, not, Brian, did you get my email? Either. Okay, so I got an email from Adam, all right? And I got to read this email from Adam because he's going to freak out if I don't. Okay, all right. The Here are the top 10 most favorite things happen to Brian on a weekly basis that we get to see live stream. Number 10, robocalls. Number nine, customers put in wrong addresses for delivery and blames Brian why they haven't got their shipment. <laughs> Number eight, Brian re receives a call from a customer who wants to buy something from, from Canada or California. <laughs> Tim called them. Tim called the guy to warn him that the package was Number seven, Ryan tells Brian he needs something new to do on his job. <laughs> uh, Mr. Young calls and tells Brian, wait a minute, Mr. Young calls and tells Brian she's sending Frankie and Davy down to the bank to annoy him instead of her for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Young calls and tells Brian she's sending Frankie and David down. When Brian gets a call from someone who thought he ordered the PTT that was very nice of you to call. Truck, uh, stop truck, but so. actually yeah, ordered the print. <laughs> Ryan tells Ryan tells Brian that he's going to take half a day, or by the way, I can't come in tomorrow too. <laughs> when, when the iPod loses audio or switches to side view, he doesn't have full screen. Hey, I uh, called them and let them when know. When Brian forgets, oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. has his Bluetooth on and it's synced with the Mini Cooper for the last 20 minutes and the fans didn't hear anything he said. Well, I don't know if that happens every week. Finally, number one, when Brian, Brian starts a live stream and says, well, guys, I've got some bad news. Oh, <laughs> has me laughing no matter what it is. Well, I did forget to say that. I do have some bad news, guys. Okay? Um, and I don't know how to tell you the bad news. Um, so these are the top 10 um, Adam things. I'm going to sign this. Did that okay? Label, did that label come in yet? And uh, I called them. So we got a shipment. Wrong ship. I don't have any bad news. I called them. They were happy to know that the, it's on its way. Be a couple day delay. That is a little Blick. It's a Blick Art store down in uh, Tampa. Actually, just just for the information of people, if you have a virtual private network, also known as a VPN, and you go to fill out that address form, it will actually use the country for which the VPN is trying to, to ship it to. Yeah, I don't want and so you want to make sure that you actually correct. One for Tim, address. one for you. Oh, Tim has an Indiana wants me? Here. <laughs> Isn't that song wrote about him? Oh, yeah. That's, that's right. No, that's Indiana <laughs> wants me, but I can't go back now. I'm ashamed of you. <laughs> bum, bum. So, hey, thanks a lot. So if you're using a virtual private network, make sure that the address the is actually correct and it's not being shipped to... Uh, uh, Timbuktu or you know, wherever your uh, country, hey, your virtual private network is actually set to. The label? <laughs> uh, you're welcome, Matt. Now, why didn't that want to print? Oh, oh there it is. Uh, here's your FedEx label. Got it? Is that going to be a FedEx? Yep. Are you sure? 
<laughs> now, what is in this box? Ooh. Oh, wow. What is this? All this. Ooh, a tobacco. Oh, we got some tobaccas. And then uh, tobaccas. I didn't order this. Now this was, I placed this order and I got a box of this free. You didn't leave any for me. I didn't order a lot of these. It's a full container. There's none left. I don't remember ordering these tobacco specials. This isn't the right, uh... this wasn't a very good order. This doesn't make any sense at all. You know what? Huh. Why is this going to Galesburg, Illinois? It's supposed to go to Tampa, Florida. They want it to go to Galesburg. They'll probably reship. I don't know. Well, that's ridiculous. No, that's not my problem. If they want to reship she it, screwed up. No, the girl screwed up. Okay, call them back. No, I'm not. They wanted it to go back because then they're going to reship it. It's not our problem. We're doing what we're told. Are you sure? Oh, brother. Yeah. That's All right. This doesn't make any sense. Yep. I'll call her back and let her know it's the one that's sitting back to the right. Yeah. Yeah, you can have it. It's a shame. When's FedEx guy coming? I have no idea. That's too bad. I'll put it there. <sighs> oh, we went live before noon. Well, I gotta add him something to do. It's amazing the prices of this stuff anymore. Why? I just, I just way things have gone up the last twenty years. $75. How much is it? $75. This? So I didn't want to charge it to the company. Brian had gone through the roof. Leftover pieces. Press two. To check the status of your order, press three. To report a lost or missing order. Thank you. 
Please hold while we connect you to the next yeah. available agent. <laughs> Good morning. Can you hear me? Thank you for calling something. My name is Jenny. How may I assist you? Yeah, I uh, got my order in today, but I miss. It's not correct. I'm missing. Yeah. The late my latest order that was shipped out. It was supposed to be here Friday, but it didn't. It was order TC zero zero three. Four two six zero six five. Yeah, it's Brian Young. Four one nine five seven five three seven seven six. BCY Young at Gmail. All right. Um, I was trying to get hold of Robert Sakar, but I guess he's out for the day. And okay, we got a shipment. I talked to her. We had a shipment that came in by mistake to our company up here in Ohio. And it was shipped to Man, he's spending way too much time. He is. I don't know why he's worried about it. Because <laughs> it's, it's funny. No, it's, 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 no, nothing. I'm just talking about something else. Have you got the order up yet? I did not get two of the Alec Bradley Russo 10 packs. I only got one. What's their inventory sheet look like? Yeah. The 7YASST42-SP1000. I was supposed to get two of those. I only got one. There's nothing. I, everything was checked off on the... I've got the little container contents, and uh, it's got two checked off as being two, but I only got one. You know what's funny? One 10-pack, yeah. yeah. But it's not us this time. Yeah. <laughs> I called them back. They didn't know who I was talking to. Some girl before. I might just keep Hello, honey. No, go ahead. Yeah. So anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. that's fine. But I need a new... That box.
Yeah. You're going to send it. Uh, when are you going to send it? Okay. Yeah, because I've got a I've got a special thing this weekend, so I need it by by this weekend. Okay. Hey, thank you so much. What? You still need me on the other line? Okay. Yep. Yep. Sure. Eagle Jim wants to know what's going on this weekend. <laughs> As Brian says he needs the specials for this weekend. Now everybody's jumping in. All right, where's that? I'll just check my email. Thank you. I, I just got it. That's fine. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Now. Right. Okay. There are no variants. All right. righty. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Bye. Have a great day. Yep. Bye. -bye. Okay, so people are wanting to know what's going on this weekend. Well, what's Your going on? Fest. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, no. Well, they're selling out the trucks. The trucks stay in. The, the uh, <laughs> never mind. I can't talk. Don't interrupt every minute. I'll just let him talk. Uh-uh. Well, let them know what's going on, because U of M wants to know. Everybody wants to know. I pack it like that. That'll fit. We're doing a workshop open house. You are? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a workshop open. That's a good idea. Workshop open house. We're going to... We're going to have... Uh, we're going to be playing croquet. We're gonna, I'm going to be in the workshop all uh, in the morning, really. And then um, people can race if they want to come and race at the different tracks. Um, people are coming. Daniel's friends. And then Daniel's friend. Oh, this is going to be a ter I'm not going to have any peace on Saturday. <laughs> Just yeah, lay it out straight. We're going to have the croquet uh, set up. We'll have croquet later in the day. And then Daniel's doing a um, cookout. Daniel's doing a cookout in the evening. On your, on your dime. Um, you're paying for it all. Can you uh, not ever comment, or you're, can you can you can you not time. talk for ten minutes, or how hard would that be? Hey, you're you're paying for really Daniel's seriously. Daniel's how hard? You're paying for Daniel's. He, he can't. He can't. I guess. <laughs> so I'll let him finish yeah. sa saying what's going on. Uh, well, you're paying for Daniel's no, thing. you just go ahead and finish. Go ahead and finish. Okay, I'm done. No, go ahead. I'm done. So I got, uh, I placed an order with uh, Thomas, and I got a box of Excaliburs free. They sent me this free. 
of uh, 10 cigars, Ooh, absolutely free. That'd be nice. They must have gotten these at a special deal. Of course, I'm not necessarily a fan of... Uh, Mm. Well, first of all, they're not yours. I, I just okay? wanted to look at one. No, you cannot <laughs> look at one. Okay? I just Why to... do you go finish the job? Because all you've been doing I... is going back there eating, okay, and you're hardly getting anything done. No, he was he was trying to help that yeah. other company. I was trying to help customer. that other customer. Is that English? Oh, those are clear. Ooh, those are good cigars. You have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I do, too. One thing he doesn't know, that cigar. Ah. He knew nothing about them oh, about boy. 10 years ago. I did get some Habakas. Let me see these. Habaka specials. These are really good Habaka specials. Those can be. They're, they're more of a chop filler, you're, though. You're yeah, touching yeah, things again. I would like to see it. I need to, for you just to go away. Okay. So this weekend, it's just going to be, uh, yep, Tim the Glazer. Grazer, yes, that's exactly it, Tim the Grazer. Yep, Tim just grazes. He goes back there again. I wish you guys would count how many times he goes back there for me. Today, time. tell me how many times. No, even after lunch, tell me how many times he goes back. Lunchtime. And this is the box room, Sherlock. So, this is the Messerschmitt. This came in a two-pack with the... Um, the um, the uh, the the juker the junker, and I just I finished painting this on Friday. This is a jet, a German jet. I've already seen I I have already seen seven times so far. All right, I'm sorry. I just wanted to just show, show people. Show off the die gas. That's what today's supposed to be. Nah, I'm not showing the die gas. No, he's gas. talking about me going back to the back room. That's what he's talking about. That's where the boxes <sighs> are. So, Rob, wake up. Seven times so far. <laughs> That's right, Rob. Tim went four so far. That's right, five so far. They're all commenting. Hey, who's, who's multi-credit king? He's new. Is He's is that been around for years? Okay. Multi Credit King? I don't I don't remember him. Multi Credit King? Oh wait till he starts. Oh, Who's Multi Credit King? Don't encourage him. Who are you? He's Ryan's friend. No, he's Ryan, not. He went to he went to, he was in Kimmy's grade and um Kimmy's grade. Christian Academy. I've never heard of him. I haven't seen him on here. Oh guys, we have. Oh yeah, but Yes, we have. No, you haven't. Well, oh, yes, we have. He doesn't stop. He thinks he's funny. See how, he, see how he's talking, guys? He just constantly eats. He well, constantly shovels it in I'm his mouth. Back there again. He room, constantly shovels it into his mouth like it's a like it's a shovel. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and now, now he's going to flip. Now he's doing the flip. Okay. How was that? I'm not Very a good. friend, M.A. Was that saucy? Very good. I thought it was a broth. Yeah. Uh, bacon, bacon cheddar. Man, that was awesome. Yeah. You put this in the sink. It fell in the sink. I was going to move, I was going to wash it when I realized it was paper. <laughs> I, was, I thought something was put it in there. Hey, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of a car that they want me to do Auto World, and I want you to tell me what I should do to change it. I'm gonna let you guys make an opinion, okay? Or I'm gonna let you have an opinion. I so go the back I want to show you a car that they want to do for me, but I, I I I think it would be cool. And so I'm just gonna the uh, at twelve o'clock. It'll start about 12 o'clock, okay, or 1 o'clock. Yeah, 1 o'clock. Brian's going to be working here all by himself in the in here by himself. It's going to be his first day of, of working by himself with all the kids coming in and bothering him, which you is going to be ex that with him? Oh, I got to clear that with him. Okay. All right, never mind. I've got to clear it with what Brian day? first, so next Saturday. You don't have to come, Tim. It's a. Yeah, you don't have to if you don't want to. 
All right, so this is a this is a car that uh, that we're gonna do that they sent me as a proof. Okay, and I'm just wondering, um, should I do anything else to this? I was thinking a white flame going all the way back. That's just you know I know you guys hate flames, but the flames sell. That's all there is to it. And they sell like crazy. And I was going to do a flame in the, like, a flame in the, on the hood. A flame on the hood. What do you think? I don't really care. I'm just, you guys are the customers and you would know. What do you think should be done to this car? <laughs> Looks great. Put a logo on the roof. What logo? Love it. No flames. Go Chucky B hates flames. <laughs> Chuck hates flames. Uh, yeah, uh, Dustin, new segment. Today on Grazing with Tim. <laughs> no flames on that car, please. PTT. PTT on the, on the hood? Really? Put a mask on that car. How about black body yeah, with red tail, yeah, white top, I just, I had one. I never red flames? I mean, that was the first bite that I had onions. No logo or flames. Black it's roof strong. would be okay. Well, I mean, it was noticeable, but I like onions. Probably like a sweet onion more, especially with the, uh, with the liverwurst. Black roof would be okay. Red flames. That's the problem is that there's a there's a big always a big di difference with you guys with flames on them. I do like the idea of a black roof. Why do they want you to do that car? Because oh, that's the only car that I haven't gotten the mark work for. Of course, all this stuff's not coming out till next year. Is that the car right there? I don't know about the logo on that. I mean, it's blue. It's going to be blue. Pro Tinker Toy Racing car. That'll be our race car. Oh, that's true. On the side, then put them on the side door. Yeah, make them like logos. And then put a number on top. Brian's age. That'd be a racing car. You're right. Yeah. Put the logos on the doors, and then the, sponsored uh, by Pro Tinker Toys. Right, and then have the the uh, uh, what's the uh, a oh, number? So I was driving in Toledo yesterday. How old is he? Sixty-two. That'd be a good number for the car. Yeah. Sixty-two. That wouldn't be bad. Just for fun for the. So guess what I saw in Toledo. I was driving through Toledo on my motorcycle, on a little motorcycle ride, and I see an auto shop. And guess what the auto shop's name was called? ProTickerToys.com? Andre's Auto Shop. Andre? Andre's Auto Shop. Brian Young, Pro Tinker. It's <laughs> <laughs> not that fun. Let me know, right? Well, it's just a lot of what's Hello. happening. Hello? Hello. Who's Hello. that? Hey, Hello. Hi. This is Adam Hart. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who is it? Oh no, it's Adam. Oh gosh. Are you coming Saturday to the open house? What now? Uh, re everybody kind of interrupts when I'm talking. <laughs> what can I help? Put it on speaker, it's Adam. Yeah, it's Adam. Right. Got it. Well, Saturday is really not. Uh, yeah, I'll talk. I'll talk about it again. So you just listen, okay? Ah. Yep. <laughs> okay. So Saturday is just an open day. Oh, it's just an. It's an open it's house. A cook out. Okay. Can I? Can I finish, please, Tim? Please. <laughs> Serious. I'm being. I'm. I'm saying calmly. Can you please quit talking until I'm done? Now, if you want to talk after I'm done, fine. Or I will put the camera by you. I'm just asking a common courtesy of letting me finish a sentence. Can I throw a question out there? What about the time? What time are you? I'm not going to comment about it. No, he won't let me finish the freaking sentence. And yes, I am frustrated. I'm not happy right now. Adam, add I'm that not to happy. your list. Adam, add, add that, that to the list. list. <laughs> I mean, it's been five times I've been trying to make a complete sentence, but he can't, and, then, and that's my fault. Of course, so, so what? Oh my God. I thought I was supposed to do bits. I like that bit. This is a good bit. You 
got to keep that one going. Brian Young. Yes, hello. How are you doing, buddy? Good. How are you doing? All right, I believe I ordered my black 55. Yep. Hold on a second. Hello. Oh, come on. Hello. Are you still there? No, this thing's not working. Hold on a second. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. You hear me all right? Yeah, but you're just not coming through my headset right now for some reason. Go ahead and talk. Why is this doing this? I don't know what's wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right, can you hear me? Because I can hear you fine. No, just my headset's not working right. I don't know why, but go ahead. All right, I believe it was Thursday. I ordered the black 55 Chevrolet with yellow flame. New customer, Clark Cameron. Hold on. Clark Cameron. Yeah, I believe it was Thursday. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I what? I told you to use Zip Plus 4, see if it would get here any faster. Yeah, like it's it getting... It's... From, like it was doing from Wisconsin to here, it's here today. So the Zip Plus 4 must make one hell of a difference. Yeah, you, it was delivered the front porch this morning. Yeah, I got it this morning. That's what I'm saying, because I remember I told you I, if I, we were going to see if it was... Yeah, that is. That was pretty good. Zip plus four. Now, wait a minute. What, what are you talking about? Oh, well, I have, uh, I, I really have never pushed the f a plus four uh, on a zip code. Um, but I'll start doing that uh, for people to put. Yeah, because we did ship this Thursday, so it got. It, it uh, got there uh, Friday, and that was first class. No. That's amazing. Yeah, it must do, it must be. Yeah, that is good. Well, thank you very much for letting us know that. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay, so let's see here. No Tim on the hood. Uh, I'm in Wisconsin, usually three or four day. Hey, Charlie, 30 other calls, that is. Keep breathing, doesn't it? Breathe. Uh, Tim eats again. Uh, can you hear me now? Uh, I found out. Fix economy. I found out how to fix the economy. That is, can't believe so many orders, Tim. Here we go. Could you do a limit run, a limited run on white wheels? Could you do a double car set, one stock and one race car? There's a lot of things I can do, but right now I can't because I'm I'm waiting on my other exclusives and uh,
why does he send me all of these pictures? Ryan. Nelson sent us a new kit. These are my shirt. racing tonight, right? Let them know or advertise or nobody's watching. Uh oh okay. Oh. Ryan No racing tonight, I need a break. What? Ox. What Ox. are you doing? Why? What's wrong? What happened? Did I miss something? Huh? No. What happened? <laughs> what did he need, Tim? Nothing. Did you want you no. want you say you want the PTT logo, the Professor Tinker logo, or PTT on the side doors? I was just saying the logo even on the side door. I don't know. Make it make it our race car, our Pro Tinker toy race car. What do you think about that, Tim? Do you think this, think this should be our race car, our Pro Tinker Tier logo, my age on the on the roof, 62? Yeah, on the roof, the trunk, and the, the hood. With flames. No flames. No flames. No flames. What color, though? The Blue. Color the website? Blue. Oh, we can't go black? We can go any color we want. We could actually do the yellow the truck was in. I do, yeah. I was thinking the black yellow that we have with our logo. All right. You have your number. All right. On the hood. From, you know, it's a race car. Like we were watching them last night. That was funny. With the trailers behind it. We got we to gotta make one of those from Auto World just to, for kids to buy. Drag it around their racetracks, smashing. Uh, do you think a little bit of rust on it? Nah, it's it's a, no, it's a race car. It's I know, but they they always have rust on it. Okay. Not really. Race cars, really good ones, don't keep them cleaned up. Because we have a pro racing team. See what the comments said. I don't think Russ would look good. U of M said come up with some fake sponsors. Why don't we use all the shops in Wayne? We'll have Country Farmhouse on the side. We'll have the printing place. Not the Country Farm. They're, they're masters. Oh, are they still? Probably. They'll go down to the grave, masters. Gosh. Use number one, your first car. And number two, three. Definitely eight, Jack. And then multi credit talking about Danny's paint still for some reason. I don't get it. I don't even listen to him. <laughs> well, where's 69 or where's my age on the roof? You're 62. On the roof? So the PTT is, the Professor Tinker logo is only on the side doors. 
the doors. Is that what we're saying? make an excellent flatbread broccoli ranch dressing pizza. Really? Oh. When are you going to make that for me? Oh, I don't know. You're all talk. You tell them you're bragging about this, but I don't even get to try it. I want to try it. All right. The only thing you've ever made is liverwurst. Well, I know. That's the only thing. Well, I do bring hard-boiled eggs, you have to admit. Yeah, but that doesn't count as making anything. Well, I, I do have to boil the water. Nice broccoli. Oh, I wish I had more of it. Dad didn't have it. I could just eat that all day. Probably best I don't have any more. Well, it's not bad for you. Mandy's on. Mandy, oh. you make the best broccoli salad. I don't see Mandy. Oh, you don't see her on? All right. Heck yeah, Adam, bring some meat. But we got to find out the time, and I... maybe I'll just call Danny and see what he says. Call Danny. <clears throat> I should be back by then. Supposed to be, I thought, 3.30 or something. Hey Siri, call Danny. Hey Siri, call Danny. Oh. Danny. That's when I always tell him when I'm watching him. He does. YouTube channel called Danny. Where's everybody? Is he going to call it on me? Man, that is nice leathery. He didn't answer, so we'll, hopefully soon he'll call back, I'm sure. Turn that music up. Okay. All right, so... Um, I just made a command decision. 
So we're going to do this in yellow, like the truck. And this will be our official race car. It will be yellow with uh, the Professor Tinker logo on both doors. Uh, and on the trunk and the hood and the roof will be 62, which is my age. And then we'll have sponsoring on both doors. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to send that to Auto World, and probably within 30 minutes, they're going to send me a proof. Um, uh, the problem is, I don't even know when these are going to come. <laughs> No, I don't know. I don't know why they're even doing this because that's what I tried to tell you. Yeah. You said, Ryan, you got nothing to worry about. There's no New Year's coming, so they'll get it done. Yeah, see, that is he doesn't even understand what I'm talking about. But that's what you told me. I said, on, in a normal world, yes, but things are not normal. Okay, right, right now, that was my everything argument. is shorted. Everything. That's, that's what my argument Everything was. is in short supply. That's my argument originally. Now you're using the same argument I said then. So you No, back in January up. there wasn't a lot of shortages. So Whatever. You know. Okay, fine, fine. All right. I don't know why you're upset about it. No, I don't know because I don't know why you constantly bring it up. Okay. I guess you just want to get me upset. Fine, I'll accept it. That's exactly why. I told us you're supposed to get you upset. They're yeah, you said bits. you said yeah. that's part of the bit. No, I'm tired. Actually, I'm, yeah, I'm tired of it. Okay, actually, we've been tired of it. Well, then why do you do it? I never do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> then I have to live with Tim. <laughs> that, was a, that was a bit, Tim. Oh, okay. Was that a bit? That had to be a bit. That had to be a bit. <laughs> What a bunch of jerks. That's what I have to deal with. Oh, that had to have been a bit. Dumb and dumber. I have to deal with dumb and dumber. There's a bit. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Now, if we did that, though. Oh, you'd have a oh, bit. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What is this, do you think, Tim? Food keeps fighting. What is? These cookies. These uh, coconut? coconut powder. You know what, the zinc is so good, though. The zinc is good. Oh, gosh. And this cocoa. I can't eat all this stuff either. This is just, it's not me. Um, what is this, you think? What? What's that? Yeah. That looks like something that Timmy used to, from where I used to have. It was a, uh. Is it a bird? It was, yeah. Penguin. Think the penguin? Penguin. It's got Blue, big penguin. All right, I'll put penguin. Well, I don't know where we were selling them. Yeah. Well, where's the box? Uh, Are they in this building? Yeah. Well, we're in this building. I mean, did you look? No. What? Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! Um, I was hoping you would tell me. Well, I don't know where they are. Okay, so uh, we're going to start selling the trucks uh, right now. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Everybody wants to buy them. I don't know why I don't just sell them. <laughs> yeah, pre orders don't work. See, I'm not asking your opinion, frankly. <laughs> so I don't really care what you're thinking. What? Yeah, why are you upset? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> just remember, if I'm talking to you, I'll say, hey, Tim, I'm talking to you, okay? Yeah, that's nice. Well, no, just that's the way it should be. Saturday is basically 1 o'clock. You can come over whenever you want. It want started at 1 o'clock. I'll be out in the workshop kind of finishing up some model kits. Uh, then probably in the afternoon is when we're going to do the croquet games. Um, we're going to have um, a dinner later in the evening. Probably about 5 o'clock we'll have a big dinner. Um, if you want to come, you can, you know, kind of like bring maybe coleslaw, 
Ask, it has to bring and smoke meat. It has to be homemade coleslaw. You cannot bring store bought coleslaw. Uh, immediately kicked out. Or you'll immediately be kicked out, told to go home. So it cannot be a Gordon food coleslaw, which is the worst coleslaw ever made. So make sure that, um, and you don't have to bring meat because we'll have plenty of meat. So I just bought another cow. Oh, <clears throat> for the love of Mike, get rid of those stock AFX wheels. We do need to have to pay do something different. Rod said I'm right about something. I don't know what it was, but I was right. Moo. You get that picture still up? Mm -hmm. You get the image of that thing? Oh, I okay, so Robert Novell, Tim packs one package, then goes back, eats, comes back, out, packs one more package, then goes back, eats, Again, if he's working anything else, he wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> Tim eating again. I'm glad everybody is finally getting on my haircut. So you think I, everybody, I, I was just going to let it grow out and then get a perm. So like I have an afro. So you think I need to get a haircut for the love of my, get rid of those stock AFX wheels. Put the turban or rally type wheels on it. Would you? You completely deleted it? No, I just I, I had to I messed it up. That's what we're doing. Yellow, a yellow car with yellow pro tinker emblem. Yes. There. What's that? that I'm waiting for. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for Ken yeah. to redo the. Uh... How, how can how can you get so distracted? There are. Never mind. I swear, he, he he gets distracted so easily, he doesn't get anything done. Uh, uh, Brian, don't worry about Tim, please. He'll get you distracted to where he, he, the whole world is caved in, in on him. Is hedgehog one word? Yes. Right here. Here's what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. So Saturday is really kind of just, I get up around uh, 9 o'clock, and I'll have a big That's breakfast. That's what Brian is. He should use these more often. And, uh... Now, I don't like sauerkraut, so do not bring sauerkraut or I'll kick you out of my house. Sauerkraut is probably the most disgusting food ever made by man. Actually, it's not. It's a very. It's, it, it's a and I don't care about your food. opinion. I it, care about my it's opinion. Healthy for you it's too. Really well, healthy. I don't it's care. Very healthy. See, there, there you go, Tim. I don't care. Cabbage and salt. It's a very oh, healthy. Oh, brother. Now that's a poor Something. food. Okay, so if you want to eat like a poor person, then go ahead. That's not for poor people. It's actually be a cuisine if you how oh, brother. I'm sorry, you feel that way. Look at those cute little things. They're stress release things. Squeeze and stress. They're a squeeze and stress toy. Fine. Uh, promote it at least. Could you promote this? No, frankly, I don't want to right now. It's a zoo party puffer. I know, I know, I know. I, I, it's a squeeze and I know stress. That. Toy. I know, I know. We, we've you had it. You squeeze yes. it and it yeah. releases your stress. Yeah, it looks like your face. Look, okay, look. release after your you stress. Be, after you eat, look. <laughs> Oh. That's after Tim eats. Watch. Uh, this is Tim well, that dog. after he eats. That's the dog. See, there, the there he goes. Harry. There's Tim before what he eats. About the before the, he eats uh, and after he eats. Watch. The bit, the and I'll do it cake. slowly. This is as he eats. As he eats. As he eats. Like as he Ryan. eats. As he eats. As he... <laughs> Looks like Brian. I'm sorry. 
Unbelievable. Oh, talk about it. Hey, that, oh my gosh. That guy, is supposed, the most. that guy is supposed to be tuning in and you're supposed to be showing the die cast on. Yeah, I don't know. have die cast. Unbelievable. What the heck are you talking about? He wants to see the Uzi. He was calling. He called, talked to me for a minute. Only a minute, not very long, you know. Unbelievable. He gives us a spiel about bits and he just starts to be liberal. I don't let it bother me, Tim. I don't either. Yeah. Just gonna let it fly. There's no sense. <laughs> let them they understand. I got my movie picked out tonight. Well, you think. Well we know. No, we don't. We it's don't know anything. No, it's not it's not your movie <laughs> night. Let's put it that way. Well, it's movie night with Tim. No, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> You get Sunday night, I get Monday night. I get whatever get I want. Night. I can I could do it every night if I want. It's my house. But you told me. The BR no, I never you. said anything. Yeah, you, you said. said. You said. <laughs> you said. You said. I'm sorry. It's nothing to be sorry about. I'm having difficulties today. Every day. <laughs> every day. They were over there on the aisle facing the window. So Brian found them. He called in and in care. They're pretty neat. I like might get one myself just for fun with the kids. Yeah, they're neat. See, I told you. Come on down. Have fun. Come on down. You'll have a lot of fun here. Maybe. Maybe not. Get some things going. What did you uh, so you know that that model of the biplane?
Does this one uh That's ready. That's been there for okay. So that didn't need anything added to it, right? There's yeah, two of them. Right? There you go. What's this one? That's just uh, something else. Yep. Don't touch that one. Right? The workshop will be open. You'll be able to go in and race all the tracks on Saturday if you wanted to. Um, just look around, see the workshop if you wanted to. Uh, just mingle around. Then you can come down here to the store if you want. Um, it's just kind of just a miscellaneous day, really. That's what it will be. What time does the croquet start? I don't know what time the croquet will start. Oh, I thought you were starting. I'm mean, if Daniel's friends are showing up. I don't know. They better get that organized. Organization. Something we don't have here, necessarily. Where's he going Thursday, Friday, or Wednesday, Thursday? Did he tell I you? Think he's messing. Oh, are you sure? I think he's thinking. I mean, and if he does, good, good for him. Yeah. No, good for us. Yeah. To get some work done. That's awesome. That's what I mean, right? I think he's just kidding. That's what I think. That's good, that's good. In Saturday because we just we invited our all of our live viewers so we've got a bunch yeah, of people coming this, this Saturday's happening. yeah well it's gonna be a big event what we time not that big what time yeah, we what need time, time. tell the fans a time because they have to drive so we're telling because they're driving yeah, multiple Saturday. right so they have to drive two hours so afternoon i'll tell them how about 12 and on 12 and on all right can he hear you poor connection I can't handle it anymore. Give, a, give you a time that you're going to start the grill up. That way Adam knows what to bring and what time to show up. 
Okay, just two o'clock. I mean, one o'clock. That's what he said. Make, make sure you, everybody's there by one. Well, you can come anytime. When you say that you're going to have the grill running all day, what's that mean? 6 a.m. in the morning? No, afternoon. We're going to have the grill running at 12, but don't show up at 12 because their food won't be cooked yet. Well, I'll take it. Hang bring out while they're more, cooking. Bring your motorcycles. We're going to go for a motorcycle ride. Uh, bring your kids. We're going to have kids playing. Bring croquet. Bring your golf cart. Dad's got a golf cart now, so if he wants to scoot around on that, he can. Tim's going to bring his kids. I'm not going to be there. I'm not at your... I don't you're go gonna, to these things anymore. You're going to You're gonna have little Timmy come. And his <laughs> wife. And are you you're serious? Gonna, All his kids are he's coming. He's camping. He knows what not to do. All your kids are coming. What are you, nuts? Yeah. It's going to be awesome. You got it. Oh, oh. The benches are coming as well. It's oh, my. <laughs> Beck is coming, flying in. From, yep. from Colorado? Susan's even coming. Who's coming? No. Susan's coming. Susan who? Flying. Oh, he's on a roll. He's on a bit Dora's roll. Dora's coming. Dora's not coming. Yes, everybody's coming. No, the benches are coming. No, they're not. Kyle's driving up from Columbus. No, they're not. It's going to be a big event. He finally got a hold of Daniel. Can we get right to the point? He finally got a hold of Daniel. Daniel says he's going to grow. Could you shut up? Karen just called. Right. Becca sent me a message on Facebook, said she's right. in. He's doing a Brian. Look. Roll for a while. We won't tell the crowd exactly, but tell Brian what Daniel said. Danny said they're going to be starting at 12, and they'll be grilling all day. It's not there's not a set time. It's just food will be put out, and you just eat it if you want to. That's the way it's the going to be. The grills start up at noon. Yeah. Period. And it's just a we're going to call it the grazing day. Just everybody's well, Tim loves to graze. That'd be perfect for him for the day. Everybody's going to be encouraged to graze. Yeah, I, I see. I see. There he goes. I see. Okay. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. I see. Okay. I see. Okay. I see. I see. I said the blind man as he picked up I his see. hammer and saw. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Well, you know what? He might know where he put it if he's blind. But no, you picked don't up his hammer and things. saw. You don't get it. No. Oh, I give up. No, he picked up his hammer and saw. Yeah. Exactly. Hammer and saw. Hello. And saw. And that's that's the stupidity. He picked of up his hammer, hammer and, and saw. saw. And saw. <laughs> he picked up his hammer and, and saw, saw, you idiot. Maybe it was a guy there named There you go, saw. name calling. No, it's, just, it's stupid. Funny. I never called names. This is just so <laughs> stupid, you know, and saw. Oh, oh, that's supposed to be a play on words, uh, Tim? Play, and could saw? A, could you promote a product? Is that supposed to... What's today? Uh, Diecaster models. Diecast. They're supposed Show to show some diecast. I don't have any diecast. You don't have <laughs> No diecast. It's diecast day. Oh, it's not diecast day. That's what he put on the I don't know why he did that. Oh gosh. Because we had a guy who called and talked to me uh, for just a minute, maybe 30 seconds, he called and talked to me about the guns. About 30 seconds, Tim? Yeah, about well, it wasn't 30 seconds were you talking. He wanted. He really wanted to buy this. Okay, it's the best gun I have, the Uzi. Then why don't you promote it? It's diecast. That'd be fun to watch those diecast racings again tonight after the movie. Okay, that's just sound effects. Try to sell it. Explain it. Talk about it. Oh, the CEO, the CEO just This is my Uzi. I have lots of die cast. He never did good with sound, with sound effects and guns. Now I could, I could yeah. really do sound effects. Yeah, could, well, I could really. He never made any money. I did. Solid steel. <sighs> this whole gun is solid steel. There's not one piece of plastic on this. This is probably the best gun I have. Um, and it's a prop, really. It's this move. It's a movie prop. Now that there is a yellow cap when you buy it, it's broken off. Um, be a neat wall mount above the office door or above the office. Just cool. Somebody said that you shouldn't sell that because it looks too real. I sell a lot of these.
Yeah, but you shouldn't because it's dangerous. It's, I see. It's dangerous. Yeah, bow and arrow's dangerous. Oh, that's where it's packed, Sam. No, I've never heard of them. Robert Fish points to know, I can see a schematic on Brian's desk. What's that all about? Ha, this one right here. That's what it is, schematic. Have you guys heard of Hot Wheels called IDs? Nope. Yep. Adam, did you see the video Adam sent? Oh, shoot. Where's your phone? In my back pocket. Why doesn't it drop? I drop it. You have to wait. Wait what? Fill it. What's that? What? There, just put it. What is it? It's not loading. It's still loading. How long does it take? How long close do I need to be? Huh? I would stay right there. It's almost done. There. Why is it so, so that it's done? It doesn't do it right. Why not? Because it, it, you can't. I hate this phone. No, I really do. I hate it. You hate everything. No, I hate that phone. No. You were able to take a 20 minute video and instantly send it to me. Instantly. You know how magical that is? And you're upset because you don't like Apple. <laughs> so There's two true. more videos in there.
that noise? Yeah, it sounds like somebody laughing or something. Well, that's Adam laughing on his at the screen. Oh, that's what it is. Yep. You're not going to post that, are you? What? What for? What's for? I don't think it's, I don't think it promotes the product. Oh, what, what are you talking about? His, that thing Adam said. It's funny, though. It's not really funny. Oh. It's not? To Adam's funny. To us, it might be funny, but to anybody else, who cares? All right, I got to... Those special boxes haven't come in yet, have they? The ones with the, the bigger size? I think you got to do that Instagram one. That's important. Which one? I did? Oh my gosh. Remember you're going to do the five prints, the five Bel Air, or the, or the three Bel Air with the truck. That'd be awesome. Come up with some kind of that just to re-promote the prints. break. Somebody, somebody, oh, the road runner. Somebody said race them and they'll get their own status and go on. Hi, Mandy.
Greetings, Mandy. I had your uh, broccoli salad. It was scrumptious. It's delicious. It was perfect. You got to quit making it for him. Just make me a separate batch. It was delicious. Very good. Mandy makes the best broccoli salad. Five seventeen. Uh, no, I just had them for sale. Oh, that's cool. So I wanted to show you guys the finished version of the space shuttle, and we're going to launch this on Saturday. Might do it someday this week, but we got this all finished. Um, so got it all this. painted. And the space shuttle came out really nice. Could have been a little better, but you know what? And then this will, when this comes down, this will just come right off and then... That thing's real neat. The bottom really came out really nice. Still has lines. You can see the lines, which... Uh, that one looks a, like the real thing. An, a, a, an expert would uh, get the lines gone. Can you believe this goes into space? <laughs> yep, I actually do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure they do. And you need another bit. Remember, we're not doing bits anymore. Oh yeah, we stopped the bit. Yep, we got the bit. So this is, and this is the giant parachute. <laughs> yeah, this turned out. The special shuttle turned out really good. Goes up this way. Okay. If you're not sure of ever whose waters are whose, just dump them in the That's the shuttle. And then um, this is the set of the biplanes. This is item number um, LH441. You get the flycatcher and the Fury Mark One. The Flycatcher and the Fury Mark One, And right now I'm building the, which I don't know why I wanted to put the wires on, but I'm putting wires on it. Uh, and then I'm going to spray paint it silver. Okay. And then I'm going to spray paint the whole model silver. Okay. So. Why are you going to paint silver? Because that's the way they were. The color is silver. That's neat. 1923. Wow. 1923. And this is a great kit. You get two model. This is just a great deal. Okay. It's a great deal. You get two model kits for the price of one. Wow. These molds were molded in 1970. That's pretty cool. 1970. 1970. So that's the next set of models I'm building those are the the uh, the biplanes. And then we'll move on I to, like uh, let's see, Ryan astronauts died on the shuttle mission Challenger and Columbia. Remember then, if you don't believe that, I don't know what the hell kind of what you believe. <laughs> Robert Novell. I, I agree, Robert. I, I, um, I mean, all those, acts, all those actors are still alive, but you know, the characters died then. Yeah. I have to deal with. <laughs> I just ignore him. I ignore him. Watson, I thought it was Connecticut Shirt Day. Oh, that's right. Connecticut Shirt Day. I should put on my Connecticut yes, shirt. I didn't know. I so didn't let me mine. take off. Let me do this. I didn't wear mine. Okay, so I'm going to take off. Now, you don't want to see my, uh, my, my, unless you, I go swimming. Now, you'll see my full body physique when I go to the beach at Myrtle Beach. Okay, but right now you probably don't want to see it. Yeah, just don't be eating. Okay. 
because I have a great physique, so I'm putting on my new shirt. Tim Monk, I'm back, boys. COVID had me. You recovered? Good. Tim Monk. Isn't he in Connecticut or Canada? Is Tim Monk in Canada too? Tim Monk is, uh... There's my Connecticut shirt. Connecticut. Tennessee. So I have my Connecticut shirt on from uh, Nelson. Nelson is right over there. I'll, sh I'll zoom in. I'll zoom into Nelson. Nelson is right. That's Nelson right there. Let's see here. That's Nelson, right? Right there. That's Nelson right there. Where it flattened better is it curved. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, see, he's watching. That's that's why he knew. Yeah, he's such a... He knows... Yeah. <laughs> Not getting anything done. Sits and goof off all day long. I'm not doing bits. You can't sit for that long, Tim. Take what? You can't sit for that long if your legs lock up. Not lock it, just if they're just stiff for a second. You want me to expend them? Yeah, you gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving? Always. Well, how come you guys are all sitting? Well. I'm gonna have some tea. Maybe I'll make some tea. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of that too. I didn't see Nelson on yet, did you? I didn't type it for all that coffee. Yeah, we constantly get new people, and you guys are still complaining that we're not getting anybody. I know, I tell you. Nelson's new, the guy who called today is new. They're all new. I mean, it's just, they keep coming. That's right, Ted, no vaccine, don't need it anyway. Just a heavy-duty flu bug for some, and a slight cold for others. I'm tired of it all. Muscle cars... Hey, Rod, are you coming for the uh, open house so you can see your painting? He's in Canada. He can't get out. <sighs> we have an open border. That's what I find amazing. How, how are they even surviving in Canada? They're the doing better than us. The amount of money that's being lost on the Canadian border. Tell me about it. The tourism, Spain... Who goes to Canada for tours? Are you kidding? Really? I do. Who? I used dad used to take us there all the time. Where did you guys go? Niagara Ross, Falls. Niagara you Falls. Know how much money is being lost at Niagara Falls a day. Yeah, but you can just go to New York side. No, no, the, the better falls are on the Canadian side. The better looksies. The better looks. Yeah, but why didn't we just take that? Area. Well, we were they were considering it, but uh, what happened? I don't, I don't know. I just can't help it. All I know is it's nice to go. I remember the first time we went over on that side, Canadians. They had, they had. We went to a restaurant, and I was so enthralled. We were little teeny kids. They had cubed sugar. 
on a little in a little container on the table. I I, I scuffed up a bunch and shoved them in my pants. I was so I just liked it so much. Yep, cube sugar, sugar in a cube. I don't get it. Well, instead of sugar in a sugar bowl, you spoon it out. You had it in a cube, a little cube, and you drop the cube into your whatever. Now, do you get it? Yeah, but I, I, it was unique then. We didn't have cube sugar. Oh, brother, I quit. Hey, James Butler. We're doing an open house. Saturday, the 22nd. I don't think he could fly in. James Butler, he lives up in Michigan, two, two and a, some hours oh, away. All this, are you going to be there? Yeah, what stinks? Yes, I'm coming. I'm bringing the kids and everything. Right. Mandy might not come, but I'm bringing the kids I can grab. Stay home and relax. No, she should come here and run the store. No, so, James, we're having a big open house. We're having a bunch of bunch of people over. We're going to be grilling, cooking out. Now it's a big open house. It's an open house at the workshop. It's a workshop open house. With demonstrations. We will come. Sales. Awesome. Ted's coming. You're coming. Everybody's coming. The it's whole gonna be planet's awesome. showing up. Tim's going to bring his family. I will not be there. Here we go again. Anne's coming. Anne's coming. Remember, we're not doing bits. <laughs> You said no bits. I didn't say that. He said yes, that. Yes, you said no bits. Oh, I didn't say that. Well, he better be here. <laughs> yeah, he better be here. I'm here, proud. You got to bring your kids. I'm here during everybody. the day. If I'm bringing my kids, you got to bring your kids. Holly will be there too. James Tim's, Butler, Tim's, uh, Tim, will, Tim will be leaving on Wednesday and coming back on Saturday. No, that's not true. Well, it is true. Well, it, if you want to get paid this Here's week, here's what we're gonna oh, do, don't James. Even go there, champ. We're going to race. I'm going to race my motorcycle against your car. And then Danny's motorcycle. Oh, I bet mine's going to win. Oh, <laughs> is that race on tonight? What time Seven is it? o'clock. Seven o'clock. Because I got a schedule. We got to get, somebody's got to get marked. Mm. Yes, Mandy, we got it. After baseball. You don't have to come, Mandy. Stay home. Relax. Tim Turbo might beat them. Race against my trike. Tim won't be there, then no one will come. Uh. No, we can't make Tim come. Thank you. It's Thank his day you. off. Thank you. But I will tease him and say he's got to come. Thank you. That's allowed, right? Uh, teasing. No, nah, that's still, he can't handle teasing either, so I don't know. Right, but you can. He, I can, but he can't take teasing. Now that's a bad word. It might, be not, might not work. Got a new hat for tonight's race. New Helen hat. It's going to be a winner. Ted said he's going to bring some cards down. Some cards? Cards. Oh. I think it's going to be real fun. Tim's going to be missing out, but he's got to go home. He really does. He no, does. I won't be missing out. I, yes, you I will. will be just, no, I, I can guarantee I won't be missing out. Oh, yeah, that's because he doesn't want to lose a croquet. <laughs> yeah, he used to be a good croquet player. And then I took over. Well, I let you. All right, Fred. Your wife told me that you just got right. too unhappy. Right. She said, you, could, you let, could you let him win a few games right. and make it look like he won? I said, I could try. Tim used to be the king of croquet. I got my mallet in the car. If anybody wants to see it, they have to buy something. You, you buy something, I'll show you my championship croquet mallet. One, four, one, nine. Brian Young. Uh-oh, James Stewart, Jason Stewart. Who's Jason Stewart? He said, don't worry, Tim, I sent you yeah. a package for your next race night. You should get it tomorrow. I need it tonight. Yep. Who is Jason Stewart? And he's I... sending stuff. That's awesome. To me. Yeah. Uh, you all talk to my daughter. She's the one that, I don't know why my name's on this, but she's the one that's got the... Uh, Car. But they keep calling me for her service. 
Huh. I don't have that. Uh, hold on. Hold on a second. I got to find her number. Four one nine six zero one seven zero one two. Oh, it's a birthday. Yeah. Oh, they're coming down. Mm -hmm. Maybe probably was wondering about that. So we're making a huge event. Oh, that's why she's coming yep. too. All right. That's why Mandy has to come. All right, awesome. Thanks. Like she should stay home and rest. Why? Just get get away from me for a while. She needs a break from you. Not for me. Are you kidding me? She, she gets upset because I try to give her a break. <laughs> huh. I went for a nice motorcycle ride yesterday with Julian. Hey, where did these boxes come in? Do you remember? Just wrap them in bubble and paper. Okay. That's a good idea. I know it you is. You always have a good idea. You're a good idea man. I like a good idea, man. I like when a good idea comes together. Me too. And Brian can bring a good idea together. Brian? Brian's, Brian. Or Brian. he's awesome. Let's just be super everything. That'll be our new... <laughs> we just be super positive. To like, we no, just he won't be able to do that. Overemphasize. <laughs> well, no, he's not going to be part of it. because, like, we. Oh, just I see. I, oh, we, okay. Yeah, just you and I. All we're right. going to say how great he is the whole day. Okay. That's what we're going to do. For yeah, the rest feed of him a bunch of... Yep. Lies. Yep. <laughs> Why? She's already. <laughs> That's a great idea. Wow, this you crap. caught on quick, Brian. That's You're smart. Great. Did idea. you see that, Tim? <laughs> he caught on quick. He's so smart. Where are those fake things? Fake everything. Everything comes in eggs. Somebody keeps moving. You know, you do realize um, that we need to start getting sales. Well, get start promoting. Pick something that somebody will buy. <laughs> do a sale. If Put somebody it. buys something, I will go out to my car, the Steer Slayer, and I will pull out my championship croquet mallet and show it to the public. So Jason said, I tried to get it there today, but the wonderful postal service sent it from Toledo to Detroit and then back to Toledo. Oh, thanks, Jason. Though for the thought and the consideration, I will dedicate my my victory lap to you tonight. <laughs> if I can get her, if I can get her out of the lap. Oh. Hey, I have fun, and like I said, I gotta let my brother win, so I gotta play dumb. Nelson on? I want to thank him for that coffee. I'm thinking of making one right now. Playing dumb, Tim. That comes natural to you. Ha, ha, ha. Who's that, Rob? 
It's always, he's always. <laughs> <laughs> God, the guy's about as ignorant as a box of rocks. Oh no! It's always the same thing. You can't be mean to Rob. Oh. Poor humor. Can't be mean to Rob. Poor Rob. I agree, poor Rob. I'm gonna make some of that. See if Nelson's on. Thank you for the coffee. I haven't seen him. Who's going 5,000 takes place tonight again? Casario follows them. Number one car video content on Instagram. Daily posts, follow for follow. Huh. I'm going to follow. What? Break it up. Yeah, I It just keeps breaking up. You got bad signal. Yeah, you got bad signal. You have to go to just a strictly phone call. You can't stand living with da David in front of Lincoln anymore? No, it's just too far away from his work. about it. A Right. 
New Jersey. New Jersey. No, our, our speedometers are the same now because I feel like, because I was like going 70 right next to somebody in the, on 199 and I'm like, there's something wrong here. But I, I think it's just, I think it's normal right there in that spot. It's weird. Right, I think I have a similar thing going up on
You said you like Joe Rock better. Should I get all small? Just go out right. <coughs> Maybe I'll swing up there in between because we're going to be doing a race night tonight. So maybe I'll swing up there to get a motorcycle jacket in between that time. That's the train stuff. all red
Because I got to know. Bryant, you're doing a great job. Thank you. I said Bryant is doing a great oh. job. That's a good compliment, Dad. That's very nice. Good job, Bryant. You're doing awesome, Bryant. I wish I could have other guys do a good job at you. Oh, there no bit, you remember? It's not. No bit. I'm, I'm just saying. Bit. I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying. Well, I wish I had no more bit. people like yeah. Bryant that would do things correctly. I mean, does that include ownership? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Brat or sausage? Brat, you're right. It wasn't brat. Mm -hmm. Why? No, nah, just brat. Broccoli salad. Minute, and then I took the brat, put cut it up in little teeny pieces, and mixed it all together. It was delicious. Yeah, uh, Ryan picked this up. There was a guy. Oh, you got my cell phone. Um. Uh, now, what are you trying to do? Oh, rubber band guns. Oh, okay. Uh, what? What's your order? Who is this again? Strong. Okay. Yeah, just send it. Uh, what email do you have? I sent it to BCY. Right. 
And when did you, and when did you do that? Ten days. It's funny how it works. It's like a reverse procedure. But I know I forward one over. I'm going down to the basement for a minute. Um. What was your? I'm sorry, my phone is not the greatest. What was your? What's your store name? Oh, Clark. Yeah. Have you got, I know that they're, uh, what would be your email name on it? Oh yeah, Frosty Fink. Yeah, I forwarded that to... Uh, what's your phone number? Man, it's getting cold down Six there. 620. Down in the basement. But I, got the, yep. I, got, I had to rearrange the wine bottles. 273, there, yep. All the guys are going to be sending me sake. What? Sake for my birthday. Let me give them a call. I'll call you right back. Okay, thanks. Hey. We should do uh, a sale all week from now until Saturday. 15% uh, off everything in the store. Just run it. We need to generate some cash. Just do a sale. That, and that's 25% off for club members. So they get 10% off. So now there's two. They, they get a 10% off. Then we're going to give 15% off. I don't know if you can do... Two? At the same time. Oh, you can't. But we can do... Well, then, if we can't... If we can't do... If they can only do one or the other, then, then let's just do an appreciation until Saturday night of 20% off of everything that we sell as of right this second. Put that in an email and get it to blast it to as many people. Appreciation week... ProTinkerToys.com appreciation sales a a rush here let's do a quick video you'll go on the video and then I'll upload it to YouTube and send a mass email to 4,000 people it's 20% off sale okay fine and I'll just go over here where's your AFX hat I don't know where the AFX hat is oh did you bring it to the race night I did a written it's upstairs. Alright. Um what's the code gonna be called? We gotta come up with a code real quick. Super 20. Alright, super 20, yell it, and we're gonna this email's gonna go to everybody. Yeah. Hopefully this works. I gotta get this phone fixed still. Tinker 10 plus 10. So this is going to everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Okay. I need See, to that's the iPhones. I'm telling you guys, iPhones stink. Oh, they're broke. Yeah, I never it's had that problem with my Android. I did. It's I never had a problem error. with my Android. It's probably Okay, you ready? Error. I need to go back to the...
Apple and get that. Fixed. I know, yeah, Apple, yeah, then they... St Actually, since we're kind of slow, after I get this email You always out, had problems with your Android. You no, I didn't. Always, always complaining. Always, always. always. That's why yeah, I, knew, I knew we would take the opposite side. All right, ready? He's such truth. a hypocrite. I speak the hey, truth. Hey, it's Brian Young. All right, we, we got it. Ready and action. Hey, Brian Young, ProTiggerToys.com, ProTiggerToys. Okay, this is a Super 20. We're calling it the Super 20 Discount Appreciation Week from now until Saturday night when we're having a huge... A croquet tournament and and uh, open house to the workshop until Saturday night midnight. There was twenty percent off everything in this store. Everything online. Everything. It's everything. Race sets. RC cars. Race sets. Everything you can possibly. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. I mean everything. You got twenty percent off if you don't do it now, baby. RC cars. You RC cars. Slot cars. Race sets. Models. Everything. Models. I got models. 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 More models and models. Gifts for girls. Gifts for girls. Boys uh, for toys boys. for boys. 20% off from now until Saturday. Wow. As of this second. 20% off. Get it while it's gone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell button, give us a thumbs up. Appreciation week. Perfect. Under a minute, too, so I can do Instagram. How'd that work out? Perfect. It's perfect. Of course, you, okay, you have to back. overdo it. I wanted to back up my brother because he oh, does right. great. And my brother's great. And I always like to back up my brother because of his oh, greatness. I can't handle him. I'm going to have my tea. That was good. All right. Yeah, I really do. I will, Tim. I will get to that. You will get to that? Yeah. Or well, you're just getting behind. I'm not behind. So you need, to, you need to follow Brian and I in the way our work ethic. <laughs> it's impossible. To keep well, it's just, you got to work with the champs. To be a champ, you got to work with the champs. Yep. You got to learn from the champs. Wow, buy one free. Brian, call me. This one did not have a label, correct? No. Right. Oh, shoot. I just put the thing underneath there. Clark. Hey, it's Brian Young with uh, with uh, Magnum Enterprises Rubber Bands. I was calling back on our... Hey, listen, um, I just got an uh, email saying that it hasn't shipped because they're out of, uh, it's, they're running low on wood. Wood is the biggest problem right now. And um, the rifles, the rifles are what's back ordered. And they want to know, can they just go ahead and ship the rest of the items that you ordered and then ship the, uh, the rifles later? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. And then um, when they get it all processed, they can call <laughs> this number to get a credit card. Is that okay? Yep. All right, awesome, John. Is this John? We have been. Can we not charge to go through a true value account? Have you? We've done in the past. Yeah. Let, um, I'll I'll send you there. Uh, I'll let to Chase is the guy that does all that, and I'll send him your information. But this is John, right? Yes. This is John. Okay. All right. I'll let him know, John. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, mm, bye.
I can't imagine what Dan's going through right now with wood prices. Oh, yeah. Have you called, called and talked to him? No, I know he said his, wood, uh, his prices went up. Uh, I told him to, you know, and I told him a year ago, I said, you need to get into doing plastic guns. He's got a, he's got, a, it'd be really easy to take his, uh, his gun and make a plastic mold of each side and then use all of his mechanisms oh, yeah. to put it in the gun and he would have an instant plastic gun of every one of his guns. Yeah, why didn't he do that? That's because, funny. you know, who, who knew that wood was going to go 200%? I mean, Is give me ever a... gonna go back down? Yeah, when you have the collapse. There has to be a correction. You, you cannot fight economics. You can play with economics, but you cannot fight it. It's Economics is always true, no matter how it's... You can play the numbers, but sooner or later it always corrects itself. Sooner, rather, or sooner, it, it will happen. And they've been playing with it for 30 years. Okay, so we're having the uh, massive stay. I, I'm great, Robert. How are you? Are you coming over to help Tim? How long will the super code, super 20 code, I, will go until... Go into effect right now, immediately. When you see that email, the Super 20 will go, baby. And that's the time to buy, 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 buy. Yes, Suri, I'm, I'm trying to get your cash. Because <laughs> I've got plenty of inventory. I got more inventory than half the half the hobby stores in town. Well, there's no hobby stores in town. But check out our whole store, too. Don't just buy what you normally buy. Check out everything that we have. Make your order just a, a what do you call it? Um, a smorgasbord. We could should call it the smorgasbord 20. Nah, never mind. Um, Ken. Hey, you don't have Ken. Did, 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 has Ken ever sent you emails at Auto World? Ken hasn't. I got two dinosaurs that the legs are falling off, which is really upsets me. Not, not that a lot upsets me, but <laughs> <laughs> that's consistent. Right? Ryan Young, ProTinkerToys.com. Better check hey, into that. Gary. Guess who? Guess who's the phone, guys? Hello. The quietest man on earth. His name is Gary. He has a monotone voice. The most mon he the most and he's gonna come over on Saturday. He's gonna leave. He's gonna come over. Okay, he there's no reason why he can't. And uh he's gonna help me design layout. We're gonna have fun at the race in the in the shop. Why? Why can't you? because uh, that's uh, too long of a drive. Oh, give me a break. You live in Wisconsin. I know. Okay. That's four it's it's, it's it's a hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, I'll give you a free hotel room. How's that? You want a free... Yeah, you want a free hotel room? I'll do a hotel room for you. You don't do that for me. He's going to pass, guys. The most important day of his life, and he's passing. <laughs> no, this will be your more important, most important. Yes. He probably won't even be here. He'll probably come up with some excuse. It would be a black. What can I help you with? I had to go to Sam's Club or something. Go shopping. Yeah. I don't trust him anymore. That yes, it starts as soon as the emails go out. Not yet. Well, technically it has, but the emails have not gone out for people to actually use it. We're working on the ad. Why you want to have you? I you already sent your check though, didn't you? Yeah, no, not yet. Well, I haven't gone to the mail yet. Oh, you want to do a new order? 
Okay. You uh, will wait until, if you want to call back, um, uh, Orion has to leave early today. Uh, how much longer are you going to be on that uh, uh, email? Gary wants to place an order. Or you can just do it with me tomorrow morning. You're just going to pick more cars? Well, why don't you do this? Why don't you um, um, send me a text message of all the item numbers, and then if you want to call me tomorrow morning, I'll have it pulled, and then we can do it. Yeah, if you have a text message, I can type it up. Okay, and then I'll have the super code 20 to type in there and Perfect. We can give you the discount. How's that sound? That'd be awesome. Okay, I'm not talking to you, Tim. When you... Oh. I, 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 I sometimes I'd like to idea. strangle him. You know, just get my hand around his neck and just it's squeeze, efficient. squeeze. You know, and not till death, just till till his <laughs> eyes pop out. It's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, oh, you know, just the feel of my hands around his neck. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. Efficient. It's not a lot of waste of time. Yeah. No, I would I would drug him with a, like a sedative. <laughs> No, I watched it. We watched this great movie last night it called great. The Un, uh, Unbelievable. Unthinkable. Unthinkable. And uh, the Soviets great. were attacking Sweden with this that chemical that basically put people in a. Um, um, a uh, great. Uh, you know, what did they put it in? Kind of like a, a lar lethargic state so that they could comp. And they, and they, it's a pretty, pretty good movie, actually. I thought, I thought it was an awesome movie. It Anyways, was awesome. I did. I I thought it was awesome. Okay, <laughs> and, and I know you don't because you you're odd person. <laughs> okay, so what is that okay with you? Then send me a text of all the item numbers, the case and item number. That's what you want to do, right? Is pick items again? No, you can't haggle over price. Not with a twenty percent off. Yes, go ahead with the question. Polycars, what do you mean? Poly, uh, the BMRs, B R S. Poly, P O, Poly, P O, is it? I tested so these guys about it. They keep asking, is there a race tonight? And what time? And they keep telling them. It's seven o'clock. And it's seven o'clock. They keep twenty five ninety nine questions. Even Adam's asking the same questions over and over again. Yeah, I don't think they read. I'm beginning to worry about them all. Well, I do have thousands of the um, the Texaco. I'll it's it. all about supply and demand. Take this. I got to come back and get the bag. When I start selling a, a bunch of them, you know, and all of a sudden, like 50 of them just sold in one day, you know, you want to, you don't want to give them away. Um, 0.99. Right. I'll put them back at 19.99. I don't have a problem with that. But then you're getting them at 20% off of that. So, I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they're not. They're actually they're they're the probably the most basic slot car, but that's what all cars were back then. That was the top of the line back then. Well, what I'm saying is, though, that, that that was the general type of car. There there were no magnets in any car back then, okay? I I know that. I did, too. Well, you're a little older than I am, I think. Now, you know what I'm saying? What? And that's why I'm saying is those cars, I wish that that's where it was now. I wish that all it wasn't all speed, because that's what it is now, just pure speed. You watch the old videos of racing... With the old and the cars are not going super fast. It's all about skill. You can't have that with magnets.
Speed, speed, speed. Yep. Oh, yeah. Correct. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh-huh. Right, yeah, I can explain that. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. That's easy. All right, I'll do that. Just for you. How's that? All right, no problem. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Bye. So that was Gary. And he wanted me to tell stories about the different shows that I went to. Have, did you, get, you need to go get the... You need to go to get mail out of the mailbox. I'll ask you for it. i got to take a bag back. But this is extremely important. It came from Puerto Rico. Yes, I, I know. Just, well, I just want to make sure you got it. This, oh, I'll just, have, just get it out of it. I don't have the mailbox. So box. he said he could come and visit. And he'll take us all around Correct. the island. And, and that's where I'm going as long as there's no COVID restrictions. Well, that's where I'm going on my vacation. Um, where, Puerto Rico? Puerto you can't Rico. go anywhere because you, Puerto have, Rico. you have to wear masks. He said he's oh, 60 good? miles from his nearest post office. Wow, 60 miles. Is this stuff being, oh, this stuff was returned. So this was the stuff that he I'm didn't want. I'm taking this, and then I'll yeah, get the envelope. Call all these cars. Why? He doesn't want any dupes. Who ordered them? He doesn't want oh, any dupes. Did this guy come yet? I, he's a nice guy. He really is. All righty. He really is. Well, those need to go back into inventory. I know. Um, That's not what I wanted to hear about today. Okay, so the guy only paid these Warrior buggies. 26 per car. God. Oh, that's right. They got the wrong, wrong pounds on them. Shoot. Who? All these Warriors. They have one pound. Dang it. I gotta take a hit on shipping. Oh, uh, these are all wrong. You're going to have to go through, Brian, you're going to have to go through, as another job later this week, is go through every uh, uh, RC and make sure they're not one pound. Oh, gosh. It's not like I'm losing a ton of money, but it's, it's you know, it's it's seven pounds and, and they're paying one pound shipping. It is a little frustrating. I mean, he paid $18 in shipping, U.S. three-day select. I can't do three-day select. He did $18 for you, you select. I can't do. Who? 
this guy that just bought these um, Jerry uh, Woodward. Um, just send him an email that says, hey, I'm really sorry. He's a nice guy. He's, he's bought a bunch of stuff from us. Well, we'll let's see here. Just say, hey, the weight was wrong. I'll be able to ship it for the same thing, but it, I just... What's that? She told me the next time I cannot, she cannot give it to me. You have to have the key. And it's got to be your name. Hey, Nat, hey, we need to order pens. Hey, look at it. We got BCY service pens. They just sent me a, a pen. Oh, this is free off a uh, uh, free deal here. But I can get a PTTW. Do you think we should order pens? It has a stylus. And and uh, Bryant loves stylus. He loves these stylus. We can get them down for 59 cents a piece. 59 cents? How many do we have to buy? I could buy 100 of them at 59 cents. That's what, 100 times? That's $59. For which ones? We need pens. I would do it. We can. Brian loves stylus pens, too. 20% uh, off. Check that out, block. Brian. ProTinkerToys.com. Let's see. I got to make up with uh, Harbor Freight. Harbor East. You know one thing I hate about Ohio is their energy policy. You have to send all, you buy all this different energy and they have all these different subcontractors. Just makes me... So mad. I'm not mad. I just get tired of all the garbage. Best regards, Peter Kelly, Kelly, CEO. Well, if I'm going to buy pens from National Pens, I'm going to talk to the CEO. I want to talk to the man in charge. Hey, they have yellow ones, too, just because that's our color is yellow. ProTinkerToys.com. Available in six colors, only $0.59 cents each, more than 60% discount versus original price. I'm going to call this and see if I can get a hold of uh, Gary, Peter. Let's see if Peter is available. National Pen. See if he takes an order. If he's still, because Ryan says that he shouldn't be doing it. I'm going to see if he takes his, an order. Because Ryan doesn't think that if an owner, he doesn't have to worry about it. He just come around. Come around. Hi, is Peter uh, Kelly there? I know. I'd like to talk to. I'd like to talk to Peter Kelly to, to place an order with him. If he's the CEO, I want to see does he ever know how things are working at his company? So I'd like to talk to him. Is he available or not? You should do it on speaker. Why? Yeah, maybe the supervisor could then get me Peter Kelly. I just want to know, does Peter Kelly ever take an order for his company? Do you know? 
Well, but if he started the company, he should still take an order, you know, once in a while. Say, hey, how's the things working? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, I know. But the CEO should always be connected to the people. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, if you're, if you're just a CEO, have you lost connection with the customer and with the employees? That's all I'm wanting to know. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of a little thing with me. No, there's no issue. I was going to buy some pens. I was going to buy 200 pens, but I'm going to only buy the pens if Keith, Peter Kelly helps you with the order. Looks like, <laughs> looks like the millennial was right again. <laughs> I know you are, but I want to, you know, Peter Kelly is probably sitting in an office right now. He's probably bored and he'd probably like to talk to a customer once. And I'm just thinking, you know what, if I was a CEO and I, maybe I would like to talk to a customer maybe once at least a year, once a year. How many, I mean, he, did he start this company? Did he start National Pen or, or what, you know, did he start taking orders personally and then, then decided to hire, which is fine. Hiring a lot of people is great, but once in a while you still have to just connect with your customer. You know what I'm saying? It's that, it's that connection. It's that personal connection. It's, it's connecting with the person and, and knowing who Brian Young is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's all I'm asking you know what I'm saying because I know for sure that he's sitting in an office right now and he's probably figuring out what am I going to do for the rest of the day yeah you know what now nah, I, I okay I know CEOs okay they're not always busy so where are you guys located Did he start the? Do you know anything about this company? How long have you been with National Pen? Who is this preoccupied? Right, exactly. He doesn't do it. Well, okay, three years is not a long time. He started this company three years ago? Okay. Well, when did National Pen start? <laughs> Hello? 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 <phone rings> hung up. They hung up. They hung up. <laughs> because they're busy. They have stuff they got to do. Okay, whatever. You know, I just... <laughs> See, Ryan doesn't think that I should ever be here again. And that's... I don't think that's true. I that's think... not what I say. Yeah, you well... don't listen, that's the problem. I don't listen. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. you, you hear one thing and then I you see. stuck on it and you're like, I oh, see. so you mean, and then I'm like, no, I that's see. not what I meant. I see. I get it. I get it. I get it. Well, that's too bad. Here's another letter. I was with the mail. Where'd you find that? In the mailbox. So that's where it was put. All right, gentlemen, that's where it was put. Now, where's the other bag? We're starting to sell those katanas because I think the ads finally started going live on them. <laughs> Getting warm out there. Plus the humidity brings out.
I'll put pollen. Email get posted yet? No. Let's get on that. Oh, you guys are so awesome. <laughs> we gotta get going because we gotta make some cash. Okay, but I look at I'm building the email right here. You can see it. Well, you're taking forever. <laughs> it's great. It's not that difficult. What are you talking about? Well, millennials, you're just, you're just too anal. What do you mean the Katana Desert Truck? You just put a video? No, like I do. I've been doing like different ads and stuff, and I think that the, that's why we're selling those now all of a sudden, because I think those ads are starting to kick in. You think your ads are kicking in? I think. I got to get a look. I'm, I'm trying to make this email go. Well, let's get going. All right, quit talking and just do it. I got stuff back here to pass, put away. He's eating again. No, I'm not. I'm sitting back here on the phone. No, you're having a... I wouldn't talk, Brian, so, so nip it. Ah, he's, he's eating. Your, your Some bit. toast. Somebody's having toast. Nip your bit. Nip my bit. Oh, did I hear... Did I strike a nerve? Right, right Ryan? Did I strike no, a nerve? The rule you said. Did I strike a nerve? I just want to know, did I strike a nerve? Oh, he's oh, he stri... 20% off site-wide. Uh, certain restriction applies to... Yes, we're racing at 7 o'clock tonight at 7 o'clock. keep asking like it's endless. Well, you know what, Tim? He, he, this is where he gets... <laughs> he doesn't get it. He, he really does not get it. Well, start reading your comments. I cannot read all it's the comments. Your idea. See, that, then, no, it's your idea. Let's, let's get that Here's clear. Here's how goes. What time is the race tonight? They're doing bits at this point. They have to be. Hey, I'm just reading them, Jack. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait till Legend Two comes out. Legend Two.
All right, Tim, does this email look good? Oh my gosh, you haven't even sent it yet? Oh my, I'm gonna hit you. Which one, what am I looking at? All right, that'll be the front. And then it scrolls down, sale, 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 coupon code SUPER20, today through Saturday, SUPER20, 20% off site-wide, certain restrictions apply, come visit the open house. You are invited to the workshop open house, May 22nd, 2021, starts at 1 p.m. and goes until midnight. Meet at the toy shop and we'll give you directions to the workshop. All that, you forgot the main word that your owner, brother, and the great one mentioned. What? This is Appreciation Week. What? Appreciation Week, that's why there's a sale. Appreciation Week. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, millennials, they don't think. They just, they, they, they just don't get it. Right, Tim? Where should I put that? On the back of your t-shirt. I don't where should I put it? There's no room for it. Maybe I could copy this. The whole point and I'll is to be on top. Look at this. Put right another there. line in there, like right there. You got two lines today through Saturday. Put Appreciation Week. Uh, right here. Yeah, Appreciation Week. Perfect. Big letters, bold. Appreciation Week. Patron Appreciation Week. That'd be for the for them out there, the patrons. A T R O N, I think. Did you get these two? How are you doing that? I just want to make sure I can scratch this off. Looks good though. Brian Young. Yes, hello. It's Jose from Puerto Rico. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great, sir. Uh, I, 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 I'm checking you guys out that's now alive. I noticed that you guys received my box with the nine cards. I got it in today, uh, right here. No, don't worry about it. It, it. Don't worry about it. It happens. I get over things. You know, I get frustrated to begin with, but, you know, and about another, I got too many things worried to be worried about it. I we want to make, we want to make sure you're happy. And I know you're in, I know, I know you're in Puerto Rico and I know you want to get things. Uh, and we can come and visit. And said. we can come and visit you one of these days. And so everything is okay. Everything is wonderful. No, just me. What now? Which which goes first? <laughs> what? Zero okay. five seventeen. Is that how it goes? What? For the calendar, is that right? Twenty twenty one. That would be no. Yes, those are that's a new our newest uh those will be coming out. At the end of the year, more toward uh, the new year because of the, the COVID. There, there's just so many delays going on right now. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost insane the, the amount of uh, delays there are in um, um, product. It's just, uh, it's, it's almost insane. Well, good. Then get it going. Get it out. Don't sit there and just Google it. Okay, I have to get everything saved. I got to get all this stuff set up. I got to get it uploaded. Up. Oh, right. Oh my gosh. Just for a stupid ad. Just get it done. That's from the uh, that's from the uh, California cruising set. We do have a couple of them. Um, I don't know if I have any more of those. Hold on one second. Let me finish what I was doing here, and then I can. Uh, 
All right, that's done. Okay, um, so you, um, let's see here. Mm. Right. So do you want us to just, do you want us to, do, no, 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 I got them back good. I'm just saying, do you want us to uh, just send you, I mean, I've got nine different cars that I can send. I mean, uh, of, of Auto World cars, if you want an assortment of nine cars, I, I would rather do that. Um, it would be easier, um, especially on this order. I mean, I could just replace these these nine cars with nine other cars. I mean, that'd be a good idea. And, and you would get nine each of different cars instead of you buying the same of all the cars. All these cars. You what? No, I understand. No, 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 you're just, that's, that's typical customer seat. And I'm the same way. I, I, I see something and I just want everybody. To, the only person that's not like that is, is my brother, Tim, because it takes him forever to decide what he wants to buy. So no, and it's not, a, it's not a, uh, see, he thinks it's a slant on him. It's not, it's just, that's the way he, 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 he methodically, you know, spends days on what he wants to buy. And he don't even have this problem that most Americans have. So in a sense that he's better. I'm trying to compliment, but he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. See, he doesn't get it. But um, uh, let me get these nine cars together. Uh, and then um, we'll have to work on something like you. Because know, uh, um, on getting them, uh, I don't know what they are going to be shipping to get them there. Um, but we'll figure that out. Yeah, let me, let me, uh, here, um, give me your phone number. Go ahead. 393. Three. I'm all set, Robert. I got, yep. got the secret weapon tonight, Robert. 7330. 7350. All righty. All right, let me get these together, and uh, we'll pro we'll probably do it tomorrow, or I'll pull them now. But I'll I'll be able to give you a call tomorrow, and we'll work on uh, how to finalize it. Okay. All righty, and I, my name is Brian. My name's Brian. You don't have to call me sir. Call me Brian. I know I was in the military too, but I had parents. See, I was enlisted. Officers, you can call them whatever you want because they're non-human. Oh, okay, got it. I know. I'm all, all right, right, my friend. Robert, I know. This one goes to that one. All right, hey, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. All right, so we're going to go get nine cars. Robert wanted to know... Um, let me go get... Guys. Robert, I'm Let me go pick nine time. cars, okay? We've only got 25 people. We can't keep doing this with 25 people. We need to have we need to have a hundred watching. Oh, I'm not gonna go down that road. All right, nine cars. One, two, three. I like this. Eight. Ooh, nine. Nine. I think these are a good choice. The Bel Air with the, uh, this is cool one. And then the uh, Corvette.
This one's nice. Corvette, I'll give him, I'll send him this one. And then this right here, the Javelin is a great car, Javelin. And then both Camaros of both colors. That series was extremely popular. A pink or orange Firebird. That's a great one. The Night or the Smoking the Bandit car and the two Chargers. These will be the nine cars that I send him back because he, he basically bought a case of the S3 361. He didn't realize there was only four cars or three cars. So he got three. He got four of each. Well, you don't need that many cars. You do make it too busy. What? I you want to double check the email? Make sure there's no spam. I, he can't check it. Here. You want to double check it yet? No, make not sure him. I'll do it. No, I, I'm going to check it. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't know how to spell. Oh, shut up. So it's going to start out. You'll have this. An appreciation week. What's new? Toy guns. Come visit. Sale, sale, sale. This is a video, so you got to hit it. Saturday, I'll talk to Robert Fish, my my teammate manager with Young Fish. I got I got another hat that's gonna really do it, and then I'm gonna put some peanut butter in his axles. Uh oh, we got jacking about. Really? That's good. I'm yeah. It. Hey, this I can't find that order. Is that okay? That order does not go to this number. I need a gen. I need this. I need this one. No, I don't have that yet. Okay. But I don't know what that one is. The order number's right there at the bottom. 6950. But I can't find the products. You know what I mean? Oh, that's the car. What car? Oh, that's the... That's a, I printed the uh, label. It's right there in your hand. No, the... Packing label. It's right there in your hand. That is the packing label. Packing slip, I mean. Oh, the inventory sheet? Well, where'd it go? Orange. Orange brushless. There it is, right here. Desert truck. Katana. Brushless, orange. So what are you, Robert? Got new goggles, got a new hat. I'm going to be able to do it. Paper. Just I've sold been... another Katana. Take These that. are awesome cars. Take this off. Take that thing off. No, you take it off. Hey, what going... do you think I am? Well, you're the boss. You're the owner. Put it back where it belongs. I don't know where it goes. I don't know where you even got this from. That's a good price. That doesn't include it. That's too late. All right, I'm sending it. Okay, the email is now being sent. You didn't, check me the, you didn't want to check the email. You want to check it? Well, don't check it. Which email? Are you, are you talking about that? Oh, that. I think you're talking about something. Okay, about you do realize that we have 29 people watching this. That's all? Okay, it, it, that makes me kind of very nervous. It's There's 29 summertime. people. It's summertime. No, why do other people have a thousand people watching? Seriously. A thousand. We might just pack it up. Yeah, let's. let's right, roll. Bryant? Let's roll it up. I'm not saying anything. Why not? You have you always want to yeah, comment before. Why can't you comment now? Right. <sighs> look at look at how much look at what Bryant's done today. I'm gonna to show everybody what Bryant has done today. He's put new servos in all these cars. Look at all these. He's putting brand new servos in these Warriors because these steering servos were bad, and so we're putting brand new ones in. That's awesome. Basically, what he's doing is he's taking the cars apart. That's brilliant. He's taking all these servos. These are all the bad servos. And basically, what's wrong with these servos is this. I've shown you this before. This is the motor and there's a little pinion on that and the pinion is broke cracked plastic cheap hey brian would you would you okay brian will would you do this live stream if only me watching yeah i suppose i would i mean i don't care 
I mean, I would do it if because Adam was the first one washing. <laughs> Look, you've got a good comment. You have to interact with the chat. I can't interact with everything, okay? Well, I'm not. And Ron Gardner, you better be here on Saturday. That's for sure. There's no reason why you can't get down here on Saturday. Saturday, you. Ron Gardner says we have a thousand watching, but they come and go. Yeah, that's what I always say, but they don't listen. All right, I'm gonna run to the. Get what? To try to get the phone fixed. There he that goes. Way I can get ah. back. Hey Adam. Hey Adam. <laughs> hey Adam, look. Hey, your thing is coming true, Adam. Where is that? Listen, that way. I Where is it, Adam? Hold on, Adam. For the event. Right here, Adam. Right here. When uh, uh, when Brian starts his live scene, uh, uh, let's see here. It's, it's number. Brian tells Brian he has to take half a day. Or, by the way, I can't come in tomorrow either. Ah! <laughs> ah, so he's giving up. Uh, new 306 cameras, add 306 photos to your store, uh, uh, to Google. Uh, can you read? I have no idea. A new 360 you camera you know to add 360 photos to your store, Google. Brian, do you have schematics to show us? Schematics. The, the, the drawings of the car. Schematics. Oh what schematic? What a schematic is, you dumb I know what a schematic is, but do you have any cool. schematics to show? No, I don't have any schematics. Yeah, the, the car. No, I don't have anything. You're talking, Tim. You talk too much, Tim. I really seriously, I think you talk too much. Go to your brain. I can imagine what kind of pathetic movie he wants to watch tonight. Oh, tonight's a classic. It's I'm, all about art. I'm not watching Yes, it. we are. No, I'm Acting not. Acting Ecstasy with Charlton Heston. No, I'm not. Rex Harrison as Michelangelo Ponderate. Yes, totally. we are. Well, number one. Is yes, a we are. Totally inaccurate movie. It's okay. No, it's very accurate no, it's to the not. book and to what happened. Well, and I, I can show you, know, you all the accuracy. Actually, it's You not. don't know anything about art. You don't know anything about Michelangelo Ponderate. It doesn't matter. Oh, shut up. He was a racist oh. and a bigot. Okay? <laughs> so, just so you know. Oh, what a nutcase. That's what we're watching. Yep. We're asking again, what time's the race tonight? Seven. You have no idea. Yeah, Ryan's got to. He's got to go and then come back. That's dedication. That's company Brian, dedication. Brian, what 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 time is the seven o'clock race at? <laughs> yeah. Now, what it's seven o'clock. Brian Brian said, "What time is the seven o'clock race at?" Oh, nice. Even better. I like that. Yeah, they watch these movies that they have no idea what was really said back then. And then they say a book was written. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like they really quoted these guys back in the 50s. They uh, use his letters, you oh, idiot. Please. You are so clueless that they oh, use I know. his oh, yeah. letters. Oh, yeah. And his letters are accurate. Well, about as accurate as you. Yeah. Okay. About as accurate as you. I see. I don't know what you're knocking it for. It's not a historically accurate movie. It's just a. All right, fine. Didn't Good. even look like Charleston yeah. Heston didn't look like my. Looks oh, just like him. Another white male. That's it. White male. Looks just like him. Oh, it does, huh? Well, look at look at Michelangelo's sketch of him. Right. Oh. He's mm. Italian. He had the jaw, the forehead. Very much so. Very much so. I don't know what you all the slop you watch and stuff you watch and you think it's accurate historic historical. I can't take it. I can't take it. But you're my brother. I know that. My buddy. That's right, Robert. Do, do you know it, how Brian didn't answer my question? He never does. Hey, wh where's this go? Back in there. It was belt. I don't know what. Okay, that was it. Br Brian. Pic pictures, Brian. Pictures them. All right. I shared it. Ad Adam, here he goes. He's taking off. I think that's just going to do good. I think that Ryan, uh, Ryan's telling Brian he has to take a half day 
Or, by the way, I can't come in tomorrow, too. <laughs> it's, that, it's happening right now. Ah, I'm not here tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> I didn't know we were supposed to wear Connecticut t shirts yes, today. Why didn't you guys tell me? Day, dude. We made a big deal about it. When? This weekend? Yeah. Well, you know, he tells me these things. I wore a ProTickerToys.com t shirt. ProTickerToys.com. ProTickerToys.com. Yeah, he's coming back too. That's sacrificing for the company. Oh, please. I don't want to hear it. Come back this evening. I think that's pretty impressive. The only reason I'm able to do it is because I got the motorcycle. Oh, really? right. Why is that? Because the only way I can afford the fuel. Oh, please. <laughs> Brushes, boy, these are nice. These are good, especially the small ones. They better be good for that much money. Now, why can't these boxes be big enough to put those in? Uh, oh, oh, boy. Right, here is the music, Tim. Turn it off and everything, because I got to leave to get to take Mark in about twenty minutes. All right, I'll just shut it off. Just shut it off. I mean, I'll be back. I'm leaving the rest of my stuff here. Because I got a race night. Race night! I can't wait! Well, I can. We're drinking this tonight, too, Tim. Are we really? Yep, we're having a sip of that. Ooh, God. Maybe. All right. All right, I'll see you a little bit later. I'll be right back. Figures. Hopefully this phone gets fixed. Hey, yeah, that apple piece of garbage. Rotten apple. I'm going to call it rotten apple. You're going to have a rotten apple. Did you answer Robert Fish's question? I wish he would just be quiet. It's okay. What? Earlier today, I knocked over his bike. It's fine. And I, uh, to improve performance, I put some sugar in the gas tank. <laughs> don't tell me that. Robert, I don't know what you're talking about. Pictures. Brian Young. Right. Hello. Hey, Jose must have been watching the movie of me showing the cars. He doesn't like the orange Corvette that I picked out for him. Okay. All right. How about the um, Dick Landy car? The other car he made, other hand. Yeah, I have a Beetle. Do you have the? Do you have both the Beetles, or you want me to send you the blue? There's a blue one and a red one. You want me to send you the... Okay. How about, do you like, uh, do you like um, uh, uh, Japanese, you know, style uh, drift cars? How about a Mitsubishi? You want me to send you a Mitsubishi? All right, I'll send you the Mitsubishi. I think that's the blue one. That's the really nice one. All right, we'll do that. Thanks a lot. All right, awesome. So there's another happy customer, uh, only because of what now? What? Okay, so uh, okay, so I don't know what Adam is. Uh, uh, Pre-strike stress. Uh, I don't know what Robert is wanting to know about pictures. I, I'm, I, you know, people send these one-term definitions, and I'm just supposed to be clairvoyant and just know what he means by uh, uh, pictures. Pictures, Brian. Picture them. Okay. What? What is? What do you mean? Picture then. Pictures. Pictures of what? For the love of Mike, Brian. Do you have the schematic to show us? I show, I mean, the only schematic I have is what I showed earlier. I mean, I don't know how many times I have, and I haven't gotten the ones from our world yet the, with all the changes. 
I have this one. I showed this earlier. The same one. But Auto World has to change all this. Why are you whining? And send yellow and then the logos. There he goes talking. Oh. We saw your whining. I'm not whining. You're complaining. No, you are you because. Saying, no, I'm not. You're whining. No, I'm not because they, they send me one word temperatures. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know what to tell you. And I don't read every single one of these things. Send the super uh, send the super twenty email, please. Thank you. I missed it earlier. The twenty the twenty super twenty has already been sent. I want to post three sixty pictures on Google for the store review. Yeah, go ahead. Rant time. Yes, rant time. No, I don't have a rant, but I'm going to close with this. It's 3 well, we o'clock, so I'm going to close with some stories. Oh, good, because give Adam another 30 minutes. Because um, uh, Gary Essie wanted to, me to tell stories about different trade shows that I went to. And um, there's not really a lot of trade shows, stories. Sub-stories, I don't have a lot of sub-stories. I mean, there's only so many sub-stories I can tell. We went underwater. Now there was a time when they, uh, when the engineer department locked me in the engineer because we had uh, uh, squirt go uh, and they hosed the. Uh, it was a battle on the ship from the from the front of the ship to the back. It was clean day, I think, cleaning day or cleaning week, and guys would be shooting squirt guns and the uh, engineer. Oh, brother, saved by the bell. Brian Young. Yes. Uh, you know, I have the opinion. Uh, I, I just get so busy sometimes I forget. Um, let's see here. That car, which car was that again? Is it a side mount? Is it a side mount or is it a straight mount? Or a beveled. But does it side mount onto the uh, uh, axle or does, and does the, the pinion on the motor, is it a beveled pinion or just a, yeah, okay, I have, I, I've got car, I've got parts at the house. I keep forgetting to, um, it's, you know what it is, it's too, what's your first name? No, I know what it is, C-H-R-I. What's your phone number? Six, 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 one, four. All right, when I get done here, when I get done here, I'll go down home and I'll call you right, I'll call you back when I go, go through the parts bag, okay? See if I can find one. And send me a, a, if you've got the body of parts, send me a text message to my, to my uh, smartphone, 41, write this number down. Four one nine five seven five three seven seven six. Send me some images of that motor with the pinion, so I know what exact motor I need to send you. Okay. But I, it, it's hard to get them off. I, I just send people a motor. I'll be there all evening because we're going to have a race at, at 7. Don't call between 7 and 8. Don't call between 7 and 8. Between 7 and 8. Call before 7. All right? 
Just text me. Well, then just send me a text message, okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right? Hey, thanks. Bye. So, um... The uh, engineers, they, they uh, locked me into the engineer uh, compartment back where the nuke or reactor was, and they they got a hose, and they... I was shooting with a squirt gun, and they had a hose. Kind of fun. I remember one time we were... I was in the uh, sonar room, and I, I was... I was a sonar man as my uh, duty because you do like you would do a, uh, a watch. You would have a watch page. It was called a watch. Where can I find the instructions on the Super 20? You just go. You should get an email and just whenever you go to checkout, go uh, type in Super 20 as your discount. You can use it as, I don't care how many times you use it. You can use it a million times. Okay, super 20. Okay, now if you do it millions of times, you're going to have shipping costs. So try to compile your order into one big order and then send it in. Okay, it goes on until next Saturday. Okay. Next Saturday. Which is next Saturday. No, it's this Saturday. No, it's next. No, next the Saturday next one's coming. The next one's coming is this Saturday. No, it's this Saturday. This Saturday is this the next Saturday. Saturday. After this no, no, Saturday. this is next Saturday. The next Saturday is coming up. I'm just letting you know. No, that's the next Saturday. <laughs> Gosh. Guys, did you explain it to no, me? No restrictions apply. Just place your order. Hurry, hurry, place your order. Anyway, so I was on Sonar Watch, and we got a notification that a Soviet submarine was by us. Now... Just so people know, Soviet sub. Matter of fact, let me just make this very clear, okay? So nobody has any doubt of what I'm talking about. Soviet military, okay? They they might had a lot of it, but it was all junk, okay? Because in a in a communist, um, how should I say? In a communist system, it's not about quality; it's about quantity. And they would love to make a lot of something that just didn't work. And it was all junk. What's your problem in life? What's your problem in life? Can I get 500 BBs for $5? 500 BBs for how much? $5. 500? What can I buy for BBs? What do you mean, what can you buy for BBs? How much BBs can I get for five dollars? For five dollars, well, let's uh, let's check there, my friend. You're interrupting in my story time, but he, I will. He's a customer. I, <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. How do you spell a, ammo? He's a AM, customer. How do you spell? A M M O. A M M O. Okay, oh so ammo. All right, so let's see. Pellet ammo. Pellet ammo. Pellet ammo. Unbelievable. I need. Uh, Paper shooter ammo. No, we need the pellet ammo. Hold on. Or like airsoft. Yeah, I know, I know. Just take your, hold your sh shorts there. P pellet, P-E-L-L. -L. Pellet. Yeah, here we go. All right, so pellet ammo, you get 500 pellets, which is basically five ounces. Okay, and that is four ninety nine. All right, so, well, just hold on. You hold your horses, partner. Hold your, hold your horses, partner. I gotta pour them into the thing here. I gotta weigh them out, so I uh, and I don't count every one of them. So if you get them home and you end up finding that you only have four hundred and ninety nine, don't come crying to me. I'm not gonna say another word. You guys ask me, but here's here it is right there. That word right there that describes it all. That's his. What got, is? Those no. aren't mine. Yeah, those are yours. No, those are yours too, you know. No, little. I don't eat them. Oh, please. It was the word on them. There we go. Five ounces. Because one ounce is 100. Basically, you get about 100 per ounce. Okay, now you're not going to shoot anybody with these, right? You promised me, right? 
How was school today? Good. Now, how are your grades? A, B, A, B, A. A, B, A, B, A. How about his? All A. You're a straight, you look like a straight A student. Have people told you that? No. No? Okay, this way, my friend. Just hold your horse. I know you want to give me your money, just all of it, but just, you know. I thought you were going to show me in the vault for a second. So why would I show you the vault? You've been in there a hundred billion times. I thought you were going to shove me in there. Why would I shove you in the vault? Because you did it once before. No, I didn't. Ammo, I knew let's that see. was going to happen. Pellet, P-E. There we go. Pellet, ammo. Okay, 533. Did you want to get something else? What's he doing? Hey, Dustin, if you do the liverwurst, you got to make sure what else? you use you a spicy else? mustard, like Gene and I do, a you spicy sure? brown onions. mustard and some onions. Chop up some Can onions and lay in there here? on rye bread. That's the best. Best way to do, Should do I get it. get ice cream here? Dustin, there you are. Become like a dairy queen? Why would I shove you in the vault? Why are you gonna shove him in the vault? I'm not. I don't know why he said that. Everybody's He's saying it. Everybody's everybody's 50, saying it online. 60, yeah, I use mustard. 50, use the dark, the Dijon dark mustard, 60, brown mustard, five, onions, rye go. bread, and uh -huh. toast is even better. Go follow Luke Nasty Six on TikTok. You'll find me there. <laughs> So, uh, and the and the and the and the Chinese military is the same thing. It's junk. Okay, I'm just telling you right now that every the Chinese military is the pig, biggest piece of junk you could possibly be using. Okay, and the Soviets were the same thing. They their comments. Their stuff was just garbage. So, anyways, we were on patrol. And uh, we could hear the Soviet submarines. It was so loud because their 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 props, okay, their the prop on a Soviet sub. See, to make a, a a submarine quiet underwater, you had to make sure the prop there was no cavitation. And cavitation is when it's spinning that it creates water. But if it's precision or, or computer cut and precisely milled. It made no cavitation, and that's the way ours were. Well, in in the in the uh, uh, Clinton days, for some reason, some of that technology was sold to the Soviets by Toshiba, and and then the Soviets were learning to make. Before then, all their props were handmade, hand cast. They were the loudest. We could go. We could be running silent. We could hear them cavitating and go right by us, and it was like. Holy moly, we could have put a hole in them and they would have never known it. Gotta go. I know, you need to get right, Mark to... Uh, they want to know what the 20% sale is about and they want to know why there's restrictions on the uh, the Appreciation Week sale. There is no restriction. Well, it says on the on the email. You read it, you okayed it, and it says right there in little words, certain restrictions apply. Well, yeah, the restriction apply is what's simple. A per, what's a restriction? Per, Explain it to them simply, okay? I gotta go, bye. You can't have 20% off and then another 10%. It's 20%, okay? You can't do two type of discounts. Like, the club members get 10% off. Well, the 20 subs supersedes that because we're giving basically 10%, but then club members get 20. So you're getting a 20% off, okay? That's what that's all about. We can't can't do two or three different... Uh, uh, 20%, the 20% code is on the video... Just look at up, you guys. It it just uploaded a uh, commercial. Tried to place an order here. What what? Uh, did the kid get? Uh, did the kid get a super twenty? No, he didn't. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> well, next time he comes in, I'll give him an extra hundred uh, pellets. How's that? Super twenty doesn't work. I, I, I give up. I just give up. <sighs> Unbelievable. Where's the new stylus pen? The 
the Super 20 is not working. I don't understand how this could be so difficult. Recently created super all caps scheduled from May 22nd. That's why it's not working. What? What are you talking about? Discount code super 20 scheduled from May 22nd. That's why it's not green. Active from May 22nd. Today. That's when it was created, but this count is not active yet. Okay. The discount code is not active yet. It says active from May 20th. Yeah, he just fixed it. All right, he just fixed it. He just fixed it. He just fixed it. Of course, this millennial, he takes off, runs off. Yeah, just fixed it. So just fixed it. From today. To yeah, it sense. starts from today. Tell someone trying to try to try to. It's fixed. It's active now. That's all you have to know. And I'll give that kid a 10% uh, or 20% uh, more pellets next time. How's that? I get double discounts all of the time. What are you talking about, double discounts? Millennials, yeah, tell them, Brian, one of the, get a hold of your tech guy. All right, it's all fixed, guys. Super Tornado didn't work for me either. I think the tech guy is, is getting his phone fixed. He is, he didn't put it active. It's now active. All right, so the discount is now active. It's now working, okay? Boy, I tell you, I got a headache. Oh, I have a massive headache all of a sudden. Tonight we're gonna be we're gonna be racing dragsters and um, thunder jets. More thunder jets. We're gonna be racing dragsters and some SC three sixty cars. SC three sixty. So, anyways, we would uh, we would hear submarine Soviet submarines all the time. All right, and. Um, uh, 7 p.m. is the race tonight. 7 p.m. is the race. Take care, Mark. Don't get yourself shredded. Um, uh, appreciation Week is active now. Yes, it is. Woo-ha. That's right. Woo-ha. Appreciation. Uh, customer abandoned automatic order. Look up before retrieving their order status. We're doing the appreciation just because, uh, you know, you guys have really been nice to us. So, you know, why not? All right. So I got something here from Auto World. Let's see. Uh, Well, guys, um, I started, uh, I don't know if I told everybody how I got into this whole business, but I'll tell everybody how I got into this whole business. How did I get into slot cars? And it's a very interesting story. So I'm going to end 
I'm going to turn the lights down, just kind of relax here. I'm going to do an in, end of the end of the end of the day story because I know you guys love my stories. So it was 1994, and I walked into a Meyer here in Bowling Green in the toy department, and I saw that this company called Irwin Toy had just released. two girder and panel sets. And I go, wow, girder and panel are coming back? Because at that time, I probably had the largest collection of girder panel sets that I thought I knew. I mean, I had over 100 sets. And so I called up Irwin Toy and said, hey, I'm Brian Young. I know there, I know everything there is to know about girder and panels, and I know how to, to, I know how to make girder and panel number one in the country. And they said, great, you want to come on up? So Kathy and I and Daniel, Daniel was just born. We drove up to Canada, up to um, Toronto. We stayed at a hotel and I made up all these mock-up buildings of that I wanted to do with girder and panel. I had designed like a, a carrying case for girder and panels that were, one case was the design of a girder. It would be a carrying case, put all your girders and panels in it. And so I went to talk to the buyer or the product manager and said, hey, I have all these ideas. Well, it didn't go anywhere. He said, well, we're doing our own little thing. And they, they weren't doing it right. And it didn't last long. So anyway, see, during the meeting, Grant Irwin came into the meeting and said, hi, I'm Grant Irwin. I said, hey, I'm Brian Young. And I love Grant and Panels. And can you give me a tour of the, the facility? And so Grant gave me a tour of the facility of Irwin Toy in Toronto. And downstairs was this huge, they had set up this huge scale electric race set because they were the exclusive scale electric manufacturer in Canada and North America. What do I mean by that? That all the raw materials to make a race set were, were Irwin Toy brought into Canada and they actually built the sets in Canada. Okay. And then they shipped them to the United States or shipped them in Canada. And I said, oh, I love slot cars. And this is when I had my newsstand. So I came back home and I ordered a bunch of product from, from Grant or from Irwin Toy. And then I decided that I was going to sell Young's newsstand. So I sent it all back. They were quite upset with me at that point. But they would rather get the product back than lose it all back. So then I opened up a store called Rarities, Gifts, and Collectible in Finley. And I started selling race sets. And I sold so many race sets in 1996, I sold over 100 pole position sets. That was the set that I sold the most of. And I had a giant uh, set 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 up outside of the mall in Finley. I had a huge track set up outside and people would come in and they go, where's that race set? I go right here. How much is that? 199. Boom. How much is that? 199. Boom. How much was that? 199. Boom. And by the, and Grant, Grant at the end of the year kept calling me, Brian, how did you sell so many sets? He goes, you got to know how to do it, Grant. And then I said, I said to Grant, I said, if you ever want somebody to be a salesman, let me know, because I'd love to be your salesman. And so uh, at the end of the year of 96, the guy that owned Rarities, which his name was Rick Howard, which was a crook, he was a crook, he promised me 10% commission that year for 1996. Well, I, I did 450000 in sales. You figure the numbers. What is 10% of 450000 45000 That was my commission. For that year, I never got it because he he hired another guy. Then that guy fired me. And he would say, he told me, he said, well, it wasn't my fault. He fired you. That's right. It was big bucks back then. 199 back in uh, 1994. And so I lost my job at Rarities. And I went to, to Michigan and lived with, with uh, uh, Pastor Jeff. And he got me a job building houses in St. Clair Shore, Minnesota, in Michigan. 
And so from January, February to mid-March, I was building houses. And every day I would call Grant Irwin in the morning before I got to work. I said, Grant, when are you going to hire me? 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 Every day. Now, I was making 70000 back then building houses. And they wanted me to stay. And so I finally got the call from Grant. He said, Grant, he said, Brian, we have a proposition. We lost the scale electric license because uh, Alan Smith in the States, Alan was not a very good guy. He doesn't know. He doesn't really know what he's doing. Hold on a second. Brian Young. No, Tim is taking him to work. Yeah, Tim's down there now. He should have been down there by now. Where are you right now? No, he's he went down there to get Mark to, to work. Go double check. He's down there. He just went back there to take him to work. Go check. He was waiting for Mark to come out there. Mark Tim is take Tim is taking Mark to work, period. I can't argue. I can't I can't handle it arguing. Be happy, Brian. Okay, so then Alan Smith stole Scale Electric and started uh, Scale Electric USA, which didn't go anywhere, and he went out of business. And then Scale Electric USA came back, but it still is not fixed. Because Scale Electric USA has to be a complete separate company from Scale Electric Hornby, or else it's not going to work. Period, plain and simple. The two companies have to be completely separate. Okay? Financials and everything. All right. So that's the story there. So Grant said that we had a, we, they had over a million dollars of inventory and that we needed to get rid of it. And they said, Brian, we want you to come work for us. We'll pay all your expenses. That means fuel, hotels, food. Um, we'll pay all your expenses. Plus, now check this out plus $750 a week. So back in 1997, I got $750 a week plus expenses. All right. That means that they would pay for my hotel. They pay my gas and my food and lodgings. I said, I'll do it because I knew what it was. I, 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 and they gave me a list. I remember the pink, their pink, no yellow sheets. They had a stack of yellow sheet of all the dealers around the country. And I remember going on a, a road trip. I would go into a town. I'd go to the library. And I'd, I, I, and this was back in the 90s when the internet was not even existed. And so everything was the phone book. And I would go and I'd write every hobby store down. And then I'd get a map and I'd have to circle this town where the hobby stores were and how I would go to them to maximize my time. And I did this in 97, 98, 99, 2000. I did all of 2000. And then in 2001, it was a little more uh, easier. The, your, by 2001, no, I hadn't bought my Garmin until in 2008. I didn't have a Garmin in 2001. Because uh, the internet was still pretty much new in 2001. It, it, it was getting there, but it wasn't where it is now. Hello. Uh, can I? Okay. Well, when I well I'm well I don't understand I I don't understand why you were in the house but Kathy said you weren't there. I see. Okay. Well, she was in the car. She was in the car going to take to Mark to work, and I said, "Well, Tim's down there," and she says, "No, he's not. He's not down here." Okay. Well, then then you you right. I see. I'm, I, I'll do whatever I want. Just shut up. Oh, I just. Oh. So I started selling Scale Electric. And uh, by the end of 1997, I think I'd sold every bit of inventory they had. 
I was selling it to every hobby store I could walk into, offering them deals that they would, because I wanted to get in the door. I wanted them to get Scale Electric because that was the first company that was selling in the United States uh, 132nd scale. There was no 132nd in the United States other than Fly, which was very small. Okay. And Nico hadn't even existed. Carrera was hardly selling anything in 96, 97, 98. And then when I left in 2001, the boom really, and it's really funny, the boom was really only a four-year period from 2001 to 2004. That was the big boom, okay? And then it crashed in 2005. Uh, 2006 is when uh, Fly went out of business. Ninko went out of business about 2009, Um and so that's that's how I got it all. Beca it all started with girder and panel sets. That's how I got into this whole business. If it hadn't been for girder and panels, I would not have bought them at Meyer and then called Irwin, met Grant Irwin, then got with Irwin Toy, then with selling slot cars for five years, and then then leaving it, and then um, Bob Haynes and REH. Uh, telling uh, Chuck Errett that had taken over Technotoys, which is SCX, that um, you need to get a hold of Brian and buy him a car because Earl and Toy bought me a van. And I was traveling with Ryan and his friend. Uh, um, uh, what was his friend's name? Oh, come on, Brian. You know his name. Um, ah, shoot. Jared Fouts and him would do all the trade shows with me. I remember we were did we did the Great Eastern uh, Hobby Store uh, show, great it was called the Great Eastern Hobby Show in uh, Philadelphia. Here we go again. Hello. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, bye. So, um, Ryan and Jared, we would do the Great Eastern, show, set up the Great Eastern Hobby Show. The Great Eastern wasn't a very good show. The best show that ever existed, and this was the first one I did, which was in 1996. And I sold about 60 sets at that show. It was on a weekend. And that was in the Chicago Rosemont Convention Center. And it was called Richter. Retailers, Richter, Retailers, Rick, it was Richter. Retailer, consumer, R E C T, trade association. I think it was called that, but it was huge in '96. I mean, huge. It took over the entire convention center. The last time they did that show was in 2013. It died. Hobby stores went to about 4,500 in '96. To about eighteen hundred in um, um, twenty fifteen, I had a list back in twenty fifteen. I had a list of over forty five hundred hobby stores, and I wanted to make sure before I did a road trip because the last road trip I did around the country was in twenty fourteen, and I wanted to make sure that all the retailers were there, and so I spent a whole week calling or searching on the internet, every single hobby store that was on the list. Over 4,500. And I and I whittled it down to 2,000. 2,000 stores had gone out of business since 2008 and 2014. Just gone out of business. Completely out of business. And uh, I blame I blame government for that. I don't blame anybody else. Government doesn't know how to manage small businesses, and um, the small in, small businesses are the are the true engine of an economy. Okay, your large corporations are are a a side note. Your small businesses are what really drives it. So that's a that's a that's a story. Um, that's the story of how I got into this whole business. And then, uh, Chuck Errett, uh, hired me to sell SCX for the next five years. And I sold SCX, well, 10 years. I sold SCX until he went out of business. 
and it was really funny. I was the last man standing, literally, from every company was. I was the last man standing. The last man standing. Because I knew what I was doing. I don't want to be over confident about it, but I sure knew what I was doing. I, I, I don't take it lightly. I, I knew what I could do. So that's my story of Irwin Toy and how I got into this whole slot car business. And how uh, uh, it was all because of Girder and Panel. It's that simple. You really stop and think about it. It's kind of odd, actually. I remember doing um, a show for Irwin Toy. They had this game called uh, Flippers. And you basically had a little... Um, no, it's called catch. That's right. It's called catch. You had this little sponge ball on a on a bungee cord with a magnet on the bottom. And you had to learn to throw and get these metal discs. It was called catch. How many could you catch at the same time? It was pretty cool. And so they had me promoting it around the United States. The problem is they only had a, a hockey license, which wasn't very good. And that was the only release they had. And it wasn't popular. Um, they could have, should have gotten more... Uh, Star Wars or some really good licensing. Anyway, let's see. It must have been after 1983. Brian, can you get me an Auto World catalog sent to me? Yes, I can do that. How long did Irwin have AFX? Well, Irwin, Irwin Toy was a major toy company in Canada since 1893. So they sold a lot of product throughout. They sold a lot of Kenner product in, in Canada. So anything that was made by manu, major manufacturers, Irwin Toy was the distributor for it in Canada. They carried AFX. They carried Aurora. They carried a lot of companies. Okay, a lot of companies. Uh, I was showing some of their catalogs, older catalogs. I said, you were a, you were a Kenner manu, distributor? Oh, yeah, we sold a ton of Kenner, especially Star Wars. So that's the story on that. Uh, Brian, can you... Yes, I'll try to get you a catalog. Uh, that's why I'm a Trumper. Trumper on my man, Democrat. Friends call me. So that's, uh, that's about it, guys. Um, we're going to have our race at 7 o'clock tonight. Don't forget, 7 o'clock. Put that on your... Uh, on your... Uh, um, Uh, put that on your schedule that a big race is going to be at seven o'clock. Don't forget our, our fun fest or fun day on, uh, so you can come down and visit us at the bank and also at the workshop on Saturday. That's this Saturday. That's this Saturday coming up. We want to thank everybody for watching today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Always give us thumbs up. We always need thumbs up. Okay. And, um, if you, um, let's see, what else? I think that's about it, guys. So uh, I'm going to sign off. And maybe we'll do stories tomorrow. We got a lot of shipping. Let's, let's check the order. See what, let's real quick. Let's see how many orders we've got or what's people what are people buying on this clo on this uh super 20. Okay, so let's see here what's on the super 20 list. So let's see here. Uh, extreme racing, okay, you got that. You got some tires, track, low gear, okay, that's cool. Dozer. German bomber. You bought a German bomber and the German fighters. Ooh, that's cool. Mark Butt bought. Uh, ooh, track number uh, track number eight, Colossus. He bought the Colossus track. Holy moly! Mark Bach bought the Colossus. He bought 
He bought the Mega of Mega Layouts, the Colossus. Mark Buck bought the Colossus. Holy cow, I got to put that together. That's the only one that Bryant didn't put together. I'll have to blame him later. Okay, so there, that. Uh, okay, we got that. And then Gene Stratman bought three different items. Uh, Chuck Bodam. What did Chuck Bodam? He got some blow pops. So we'll have we'll be shipping a lot of stuff tonight, depending on how much people decide to buy. Brian, you should be a politician. He can talk and talk and not answer a question. What do you mean, Robert? How could you say that, Robert? <laughs> I don't understand how Robert can say that. Hey, Brian, I was going to set you up with a connection from China, but the last time I heard from him was about three weeks ago. And his mom said that dad was uh, going real good. Uh, his wife is from China. And yeah, have him give me a call, Scott. Have him call me. Easy, easy plus. What do you mean easy plus? I don't understand what Robert says. I can say nothing. I don't know. I can't please Robert. I, I don't know what to do, guys. All righty, I'm trying. Yeah, get a hold of him. Hey, uh, Dad. Hey, hey, Dad. Thought you were ending it. I am. Uh, you must be watching, arriving to work. So, so Mark is called uh, his his website's Doctor Doctor Aw or Ah Doctor A W E whatever that means. And so he's watching this. I'm suffering today. He's watching this while he's driving to work with Tim. Okay, because he's got to be there by three, four o'clock, and he's driving. Also, Tim said he understood why he said it. Tim, yes, he's got nothing else to do. You know, I got up this morning, went to the house. He's got the he's got the video on when he's while he's taking a shower. Yeah, he's got his phone. Is it the pay membership channel only? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Unbelievable. Plus, Ryan, oh, Mark's got a girlfriend now, I guess. Ryan, Mark said yesterday, he goes, Dad, how do I how do I talk to this girl? I think she likes me. I go, like you? I thought you said you're ugly, Mark. I thought you said no one likes you. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. And then I went to I went to pick him up at work yesterday or the day before that, Monday. And one of the girls there was eyeing him. I said, well, I said to him on the way out, I said, she likes you too, Mark. Showers, preferably daily. Yeah, that's what he does. Deodorant helps. That's right. Brushing one's teeth. Yes. All right, we're going to take it easy. We'll see you tonight at 7 o'clock. Bye-bye.